Hello, everybody. What is going on? Let me turn my camera on and the game audio so you can hear and see me in one hot minute. Um, I'm also going to turn my mic up a bit. There we go. Because yesterday's stream, um, I sounded kind of low. A little, a little too low there. There we go. All right, turn myself up just a little bit so I don't sound too loud over the game audio, but I do sound loud enough. Um, because I realized my mic was a bit low last time, and, and you know, I want to make sure y'all can hear me, so y'all can hear my hype, my excitement, as we play Pokemon, Pokemon, <laughs> as we play Pokemon, whew, um, Pokemon is a different game, um, it, it, it's of a different universe, I'm also going to back up a little bit, because, uh, I realized that... Last time, I had to do the whole run through over again because my foot hit the freaking power cord and ruined everything. Fell in my Pokemon. So I was able to fix it. Also, my team has beat the hell up and I haven't healed since last time too. I guess I was so excited to beat Brock. Uh, we didn't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to level up the team just, just a little bit. Because while I like them being kind of close on level, I don't want them to be too overpowered. But they kind of almost got their butt kicked. So we need to fix that. So let's do that. Um, I do have over 300 rare candies. I'll explain that in a minute. Also, I hate the fact that they do animation for rare candy. I, I like it, but they, they could have just went and not had that cutscene. But that, that's okay. Very, very minor nitpick because we can go through it. So I want to get the team to like 15. I, I, I would probably say 10 to 15. Um, but for some of them, I do want to level up a little bit. Also, give me like one second. One hot, hot second. And I'm back, lightning fast, with the webcam on. There we go. So I realized I was wearing my, uh, my other shirt, and I wanted to rock my Fantastic Four shirt, and they're both blue. So I looked for a second at the camera and was like, what the hell? So we fixed that. <laughs> just, just a minor, you know, not minor wardrobe change for today. Um, but what I basically want to do is just kind of like get the team a little strong, because they've been struggling a bit. You know, and I was like, I'll level them up. So, here's my big disclaimer. I do have the red candies. I'm not going to use them too much. I'm not going to do, like, a lot of leveling up with that. I do want to give them up just a little bit since we got the team members kind of close. Um, so, they're a little powerful, but not, like, overpowered. So, we're not going to get them, like, level 30 or any crap like that. Or, you know, give them all the best moves. Um, you know, I, I figured having them reasonably leveled is good enough. And then from there, we can work it out. So I'm thinking like level 13 for the squad is good. Mudkip would just be the lone one at 14, um, which would be fine. Because, you know, it, it was our MVP this last run. So I am hyped for that. But um, honestly, I hope everyone having a good Tuesday. This Tuesday was much better. I did have like lack of sleep. So I'm trying to get more sleep tonight um, and just see like what's been going on. I've been really busy with work and like life and stuff like that. So there's been like a lot going on, um, but not like in a bad way. I'm, I'm good. It's just, you know, traditional for those that work in higher education. Uh, August and April are like the double A's of student affairs. So things tend to be a bit busy, but we're good. We're vibing. Uh, we're living and we're, we're all set. So I'm going to actually put Mareep out in front for a little bit. And like I said, last time we beat Brock. Um, that was a hell of a battle. So good. I had to do it twice. <laughs> But, aside from that, there is grass here. I don't know what Pokemon here, I'm curious to find out. Alright, Sunstone. So I'm assuming that would be able to get me an Espeon, but I do have Guanabar, so I'm like... I don't know what I do in terms of an evolution, Which is 
that, that's like a huge problem also. Why the hell don't I have Thunder Drop? But, um, in addition to that, like, I don't know, there's a lot of members of the team I could use. I could get an SPL to have it as a side member. Um, we're obviously going to use, like, Mudkip and all that. I don't know where we bump into Charmander, but there's going to be, like, an interesting debate of, like, who do I use? Blaziken or Charmander? And also Senequil is, like, chilling here as well, so... We got runner shoes. Bet. Now we can get our speed on. Oh, that's so cute. Now, on site, she's ready to battle. She is ready to battle, and I expect it. Um, but yeah. So, aside from that, things have been pretty good. Just really, really busy. But I'm really, really hyped for this playthrough. I've been having a lot of fun doing this. Uh, I really want to play Fire Red over again for some reason. I, there's just like certain Pokemon games I get the urge to play or like hype to play and Fire Red absolutely is one. Also this Pidgey with the sand attack, can you not? Good. Because I was about to say that would be the absolute worst. Hello. Tail Spartan is actually really solid. And Tail is one of those Pokemon I actually forget it's in Gen 3. I don't know why. Like, it, it feels like a Gen 3 Pokemon, but sometimes I'm like, what gym is it from? And I just remember, like, oh yeah, it was in Ruby and Sapphire. Good old Hoenn. Um, honestly, Tail is one of my favorite, like, Pokemon from the gym, so. It's a beast. Um, really growl where it's at. Put Thundershock up here. And we'll just keep, like, moving. Okay, we got a Metapod in this. Shout out to the homie Metapod. to the big evolution and Kakuna. Okay. Kakuna is interesting. I respect it. So you can take it out. But I always like Kakuna. I thought Kakuna cool. I just don't like the intro. Like, it's always, um, I always see, like, funny things. I think we talked about it on stream. Like, a Pokemon were real, what Pokemon would be afraid of. And everyone's like, oh, like a Mewtwo, or like a Kyogre, or like, you know, the legends, like the, you know, the Ubers, the giant ones, right? Like a Gengar or something like that, the scary ones. For me, it's all of them, but also Beedra. Like, I just, as someone who just does not like bugs, like a Butterfree would freak me out, but it seems like, oh, I'm about to say it seems harmless, but it's about to take out my little fight, 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 fight. My boy. My boy, absolute king. Let's go. We got four. He's like, what's the four one one? Got the experience. Job, my dude. The cool evil music. I freaking love Flaffy's brightness. Like they did so well with the entire line and its brightness. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we're halfway there, y'all. Um, I don't have any potions. I'm probably gonna go fix that. Cause I could have sworn I bought some before, like I left, but apparently I was probably from the last save that died. I'm still mad over that. <laughs> like I went to bed mad over that. <laughs> Like, it worked out in the end, but I was still heated for like a hot minute. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, are, are we serious right now? That's what we're doing? This, this, this is what we're doing, game? 
Uh, but I was not happy about that. But we did beat Brock despite that crap, so I wasn't too tilted. All right, let's go with these potions. And we can run, which is like, running in a Pokemon game for me was just one of those things that kind of blew my mind. And it's just basically something you could do IRL. But, <laughs> I don't know, running just changed the game. Like, people will ask me like, what are some of those things in Pokemon you think were like, either small changes or things you were like, oh, it didn't feel that monumental, but years later, you look back at it and go, holy crap, it's good. And I'm thinking like, Things in the earlier gens, like day and night cycles, um, like, for me, like day and night cycles, the VS Seeker, which we'll talk about a bit later in this playthrough, um, you know, like day and night cycles, the freaking VS Seeker, I just want to take some more potions, because we don't need Pokemon, so, roll with $8 to our name, you know, YOLO, we live that expensive life, not really, though, no. um, but, you know, we try to live it, that's why we got $8 to our name, anyway, Let's keep moving. But, you know, the Via Seeker, Day and Night Cycles, Shinies and all that. There, there's a lot of things. But for me, it's the ability to freaking run. I clapped that. <laughs> I was like, about time. And honestly, it's needed because the walk cycle is slow as hell in Pokemon. Um, it's like absolutely slow. Oh yeah, I can snake backwards, which like blew my mind, but I kind of like knew. But like a lot of people still mind blowing, and I always laugh at it. Wow. Talking to rap, how dare you? Right, my cheap child. Got him. Uh, one thing I noticed too, I was looking out the window for a little bit earlier. Um, it's starting to get really warm where I'm at, which, I mean, it makes sense around this time of year, but, like, it's starting to get, like, close to summer weather, and I'm like, oh. So, I don't know, I just feel like, you know, we're, we're, we're getting back to that go -like. Happy about it. Even though I freaking love the code, I think the code is good. So. I got him. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, beautiful. Uh oh. Uh, the beautiful. I need to check with that thunder shock, though. Let's handle it. I thought Beautiful was cool. I thought it was like a cool Pokemon. It's just sat wise. I was like, this thing is an absolute liability. <laughs> and I cannot freaking use it. Be real. Here it is. My fear. This thing, IRL? Hell no. Like, just walking outside and seeing this, like, I would faint. I would try to fight it and then faint. Like, no. I'm good. Yeah, I know my hatred from bees from Splunky. Now, I think bees are cool animals and they're important. Don't get me wrong. People think I'm a bee hater, but bee drill is the biggest exception. Right? It's a super crop bee, which I think is just dangerous. Also, we're leveling up pretty fast. Pretty fast. So, lastly, I'm actually going to put you uh, to the side, bro. And uh, let's get our starter up. Because eventually, got our ball to Electro Buzz, too. I do like Preacher Sprite, this is cute. It's a little tab, so I'll give it that. My man Pichu, okay.
That gave Pikachu, obviously. But we just go let Pikachu have static like that. The Pokemon that hurts itself is back. Oh, damn. I forgot how to type turn. Oh, alright. Pretty much one now. Through it. I believe you. Yeah. Look at the little orange you think. Sheesh. Come on. You got this. Yeah. Pokemon Center being here, but even more of an eternal shout out to the Pokemon Center by Mount Moon. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> Yo, what am I? How are you? What's going on? I hope you're doing well. How you been? So good to see you. How's life been treating you? Hopefully all is well for you. What's new? I know we gotta chat about a lot. Did you see? Um, I'm I'm assuming you saw King Kong versus Godzilla because I know we were chatting about it a while ago. Um, I'm curious about how you're doing and like, you know, what were your thoughts on the film and all that. Better slowly? Glad to hear. Awesome. It's so good to like, see you too, which is awesome. I'm really, really happy you're doing well. Oh, for sure. I, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, I know we were talking about that at like, uh, a long, long time. And like, previews were out for it last year. Podcast. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know when it goes up. Definitely. I'll 100% check it out. I'm interested to see what y'all think. What y'all thought of the movie, of course, and all that. That's cool. I'm actually... I might talk to Gamecast about that, but I don't know if everyone's seen it. But yeah, I'm glad you're doing better. Good to see ya. Hope all is well. Uh, for you and the missus, too. And the dogs, of course. Loved it, uh, but I'm sad the uh, City Life does a Funko Pop. $400? Ooh. Jeez. I mean, I, I, you know, as someone who collects, like, a ton of those and has over 200, yeah, the Funko community is it's wild when it comes to scalping. It just is, unfortunately. And that's been happening not just a lot with the pandemic, but also, like, with trading cards like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, like insert popular franchise here that has like a trading card or TCG. Um, it's been big in Funko Pops and stuff. Oh, you got a Kong you pre-order? Nice. I didn't pre-order any of them. I, I probably might just get the basic versions, honestly, because uh, I tend to just do that for those two. Because like the Godzilla Funko Pop, I guess, with the blue lightning is cool or the blue flame. But I kind of like his standard one with like nothing with it. and just like him with no like added features in it. But yeah, I am not shocked that those prices are just outrageous, honestly. It's unfortunate, though. Uh, it really is. I always laugh at that line because I'm like, no. <laughs> but yeah, um, it is really unfortunate that that happens. But I'm not surprised. I know, like, I guess the most expensive pop I want right now is um, New Jury from My Hair Academia. Uh, she's going for like damn near two hundred dollars because I was pissed because I had her. I was on Funko site for Emerald City Comic Con at like it was live at nine a.m. I was on their site at seven thirty. As soon as she went live, I had it ready in my cart, had everything set, my account ready and everything. As soon as I hit send, she it was like I had Herman Kim Pines and I should have just went for the jury because. You know, I, I wanted both, but I guess, like, I had them both ready to go. Like, I had both tabs open and just, like, hit Kim, went to um, the jury, went straight to cart, had my PayPal ready, all that, ready to go. And it sold out. And I was like, hmm, okay. So Kim sold out. I'm like, well, I can just get, no, the jury sold out. I'm like, I can just get Kim and take some sort of a win. And unfortunately, um, that didn't happen. <sighs> Funko. The Funko store is like the absolute worst. In terms of places I like to go to pre-order, um, Hot Topic and Box Lunch are outstanding. 
Walgreens is good just because, like, I guess their stuff doesn't get a lot of traffic, so I, I don't mind. Target is the absolute, like, worst next to Funko Shop just because, like, their system is you have to spend 25 more dollars, which doesn't include shipping, to get it. So, like, I don't know why they do that on Funkos that are really popular during con season. I get, like, a basic release or, like, Target Con, but, like, have a disclaimer or something out, too. Um... Unfortunately, Godzilla, I wanted was a Walmart exclusive. I didn't have options. Oh, man. Yeah, Walmart, you know what? Surprisingly, Walmart is really good with Funkos. Sometimes, like, you can see a couple of them where you're like, eh, I don't know. But I guess with Con Season 8, they get exclusive, but they're not, like, really detailed. Actually, real quick. I'm gonna show you. So, the light is gonna glare. We kinda see it. I got my boy Shikamaru. Um, he came in, like, the other day. Yeah, I got him, uh, like, Monday, or, it was either Monday or Friday, and then in terms of, oh, I'd be real careful with his mind to break it, I'm be I got the Miles Morales, uh, suit that he had in his game, the, like, magnetic suit and stuff like that, it also has, like, the things in the back, um, this is one of, like, my favorite all-time fun for it just looks so good. It really does look good. I want to do actually a like I want to get. I have his suits and I have Peter suits, and I'm taking like a pic tonight that'll go up tomorrow on Instagram that'll have like Peter and Miles like Wasabi one or like you know Team Both or whatever. So, <laughs> um, yes, yeah, crazy guy. Oh yeah, you're talking about that. Scalpers suck. They do. Um, I've been dealing with scalpers a lot in the Funko community and stuff, and like. I like when places are like one or two per person because I think that's fair, you know? If you want a third one, you know, get in line for a third one. But if you get one or two, I think that's totally fair in terms of like, you know, having that opportunity and all that. Oh, you got the Deadpool 35? Yeah, my, I have that too. Um, I have that too, Mike. Same. Yeah, I have, uh, I, I, I'm uh, subscribed to the Funko Box. Outrageous father. I was like, why not? I actually like buying a magic card because it isn't that bad, but it's funny. Uh, which ones did I get? Um, well, I know the only ones I got recently were like, there's a couple ones I bought recently I was really happy about. So, for Emerald City Comic Con, I went one for three. The only one I got was the Spider Man 99 that is now being sold. At Hot Topic. I think this is the first time I could remember where one retailer had an exclusive exclusive contract and it like ended. Oh, I didn't get my box yet actually. Uh, my box I think got delayed. I know a couple of people's boxes got delayed. So they were like, Amazon was like, hey, um, you're gonna get your box, but it's gonna be super late. And I, I don't rush it. The one I'm really excited for is that Captain America one. That Captain America one, dude, I absolutely need. I'm also going to get the five-pack Cap Funko when it comes out. I just hope it's not super expensive, uh, but I have to buy it. Yeah, that's the uh, May one. So that'll come out, like, end of May. Probably knowing how delays are in June. Yeah, but that's coming up real, real soon. I'm super hyped for it. Everything with the, like, Cap, um, like, the 30 Years of the Shield and all that. I want, like, I want all, I bought, um, Bucky, I didn't get, um, US Agent, aka John Walker, for those watching, uh, Falcon, and Winter Soldier, uh, I didn't get him, but I'm thinking about getting him, just because I'm like, I should get him, you know me, the Deadpool, uh, was on top, was the top of my anticipation, yeah, no, I feel you, honestly, and it's a good box, like, um, I saw the details in, I saw the t-shirt, and the different options, it's a really good box, and I'm glad they celebrated Deadpool's birthday, which is pretty cool. I know the internals are supposed to get a box, but they delayed it because the movie's been delayed. So they're up to get a box. What I really want, and this is my hope if Funko is listening or someone out there really cares about a collector's opinion, right? I want a 90s X-Men box. And the Funkos I want, if I can get two for my X-Men collection, definitely Jubilee. 
Yeah, they won't delay for spoilers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, they can't. They can't have any of that out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I definitely want Jubilee. Is this game? <laughs> but I, I, I'm thinking, I'm like, it makes sense. They have the rights. To, and Marvel always had the rights to the X-Men. It's just the movie rights they didn't have. So they were like, even in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, they were like, oh, um, you know, we have the X-Men, but we're not going to promote them. You know, at the time they were doing more MCU films. Now that that whole deal's done, I mean, you know, Capcom does have an E3 conference. And I don't think they're just going to be talking about, you know, uh, Resident Evil all the time. No shade to Resident Evil, because it's a great game series. It scares the hell out of me, but it's awesome. Uh, but I don't think that's just going to be the focus. I am crossing my fingers, and I know this is a, a 0 0.9 whatever percent. It's less than 1% percent chance of happening. That we get Marvel 4. Because if we do, I am going to like... I think that would be probably... The hype as I've been since Banjo got announced for Smash. That will probably like be one that brings me like emotional tears and like yelling. If I see Marvel 4 this year, because that is a day one buy 12 hour stream. Like just me playing Marvel all night. Uh to my hands hurt. So I'll have to call it a, a, a stream. <laughs> Rogue and Gambit for you. So I actually, I have the Rogue and Gambit ones. I would like them in a box, but like my biggest wish if they do a 90s X-Men box, I want them to do X-Men they don't have. Like they haven't made yet. So I would want a 90s, either Nightcrawler. Jubilee would be my one, like make that happen. I would be dope with a Nightcrawler. I think Dazzler would be cool. Um, they already did Psylocke, so that takes it out. That takes her out. Um. Oh, let me think. Yeah, I'm thinking Bishop. Oh, God, how to forget about Bishop. I think straight up Bishop and, like, Apocalypse, that, that's a good option, too. Apocalypse would be good. You know what? That's a good idea. If they do a hero and a villain, I'm down for that. So, like, for me, it would be Jubilee and Apocalypse or, like, Bishop and Apocalypse. I, I would be 100% down for that. Oh, so it's just chilling. But yeah, I'm definitely down for like a hero villain box. Um, and of course, oh snap, Larvitar is here. Huh. Well, that makes team building very, very interesting now. I, I forgot Larvitar is in attack. I know, wait, did they do it? I don't think they did. I can do X Men T shirt. Yeah, because I don't think they did a box. I forgot which one did this. I'm trying to think which box that came from. Yeah, that was. Okay, so that was the 20th anniversary box. So they did the movie and then they did the animated series style, like, T shirt, which was. Uh, I love that T shirt. I still wear it. That T shirt is so dope. Um, I gotta, like, wear that T shirt more. But I am definitely down if they did, like, a 90s X-Men box. Like, I think a bunch of people would freak out if that got announced. And also, Bagon's here. Okay. There are way too many good options <laughs> this early on for teams. I gotta really think this over. I probably would go T-Tar, honestly. I might gotta know that's your favorite, so... <laughs> we, we probably might use the dude T-Tar. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. But I, I might use Bagon as, like, you know, member number seven or eight. Because I think we're going to run a, a ten Pokemon rotation. Probably even twelve at this point. Yeah, 90s X-Men boxes would be dope. Um, I'm trying to think of what other boxes I would like. I think, like, a com... I mean, obviously, you know, comics. But, like... I don't know. If they did, like, a classic comic like moments box like i'm trying to think what it would be so the shirt could be you know the infinity gauntlet all right or the infinity wars and stuff right 
the pops can be Civil War, so you can have like a a comic style Captain Tony. Um, and then if you want pins, I mean, you could probably pick pins from like iconic comic book covers, like you know, Spider-Man pin, um, a Thor pin. You know, just insert any random like Marvel character pin or something like that. And I think something like that would be really good. I think the boxes have gotten a lot better. I remember that in-game box, seeing that cat with Molnir. I paid, I think, 40 bucks for him, and then immediately went back to get my box subscription after that happened. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, wait. I believe, oh wait, Swift never misses. Why don't I just use that? I forgot Swift has 100% accuracy. I was like, why am I just using that move? I have a move that never misses. Oh, man, Zubat. Definitely hyped about that. I'm trying to think what other stuff. Oh, well, we talked about the analog pocket being delayed and how much that hurts me. Um, I think about it every single day. Like, it would have been ready in a few. I probably would have got a notification like next week or the week after saying it was shipped. And now I have to wait till it's over. It. Like, yeah, I tell myself I'm over it, but I'm definitely not over it. <laughs> so there's that. Um,. So yeah, I've been dealing with that. I'm trying to think of what other stuff I'm waiting on. I did pre-order um, the Pokeball, the diecast one, the replica model. I got it because it's a hundred bucks, but I got mine for seventy. Uh, a couple of family members got me like gift cards for my birthday, um, and then a couple of gift cards for like you know the holidays and stuff too. So I just had them all the time, and I just used them, and that helped me get the replica Pokeball. I saw like Alana Pierce and a couple of other content creators have them, and I was like, oh, that's dope, I really want them. And then I saw them way before, and I was on the fence, I was like, hmm, should I get it? But I'm like, why not? Like, it's a great thing to have as a Pokemon fan, it's a good way to treat yourself, so. We made, made that happen. Slugma, I love you, but we got too many fire types. But if you see a uh, Charmander around, let me know. I'm gonna catch this big on because I'm gonna compare stats. Stronger of the two. Oh. Hey, what up, Space World? How are you? Hope all is well. So good to see you. Happy Tuesday. How you been? How's your day been? Hopefully a good one for you. We're just chilling, we're hanging out here. Um, playing some Fire Red Omega. Good, a good. I'm glad that here's been a good one for you. Yeah, it's a happy Tuesday. Man, Metapod. Yeah, this part is always like a grind. Um, I always love the game when we get the Zerulia. Kind of picks up fast. I don't think we're going to fight Misty straight up. Because Brock gave me a hard time. Um, even though, you know, we do have Trico, Mareep, um, Elekid, we should be okay. and then Routes as a backup if needed. But I kind of want to get them in the 20s before I even like, do that. Let's go. Wow, 
Wow. I'm so confused in that piece, alright. Okay. Okay. Boom. There you go. I take that win. Yeah, so. The only other things coming up, I did pre-order Pokemon Snap, so we'll definitely be playing that. Um, I haven't pre-ordered the Gen 4 Remix or Legends yet, but I plan to do that, like, definitely soon. I was definitely say before summer, obviously. Just so it's out there on the way back. Yeah, so... That's, we got him. We got him. Alright, let's see what's in the Pokemon. A potion. Good, that's actually needed. Because I've been pretty low on them. How to start. Okay, only reason I'm going to get Geodude, sometimes you need, like, Pokemon for HMs. Geodude learns a lot of good ones needed for, like, Legends and post games. So. What you gonna get him for? Got him. <laughs> that we did, we got him. Alright, let's keep moving forward. Pick up the rare candy. I always freak out getting rare candies in a while. Um, it's really cool to get. You have a shiny Alolan Geodude and a uh, Pogo? Nice, nice, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I haven't uh, really played Pogo at all, but I know a lot of people really like it. I know people were pissed off what they were doing with the recent raid. I don't know what was the controversy behind it, but I, I know a lot of people I follow on uh, the Twitter speed were not happy about it. It's like I looked into it a little bit, but honestly not like too much. It's like me with Sword and Shield. Yeah. <laughs> I still need to beat the game. Yeah, you got time, though. I mean, the good thing is you got so much time because Snap doesn't come out for a couple of months, but if that's not your thing, then you get the remakes coming out later this year and then you get Legends, which I think we'll get a release date for the remakes at E3. Um, we, I doubt we'll get them before because... Hmm, Actually, no, I scratched that. We might get the release dates before. We might get, like, another trailer for both games. Like, Legends are definitely getting another trailer. And probably even, like, another look at to see where they are in development time. Um, and, like, their progress and stuff. But I, I think we might get a release date ahead of time, so we'll see. Yeah, definitely. See that? That see that was with the fire. <laughs> I didn't think that would do that much damage, but here we are. Good old torch to level up. Come on, Rotate. 
I think Elk is the move. We can also go out. I might get lost. That's like a whole exit there. Like, this place isn't as tricky. The only place I kind of got lost in was Victory Road as a kid. But, like, everything else I figured out. Um, you know, getting into Saffron took me a hot minute. That, that took me some time. I will gladly admit that. I struggled there uh, with the whole, like, oh, buy a drink. They really wanted you to do some, like, core critical thinking in Pokemon. And I was just like, I'm trying to just... Collect some pocket monsters, friend. You know? That's it. That's kind of what I'm doing in my life. Monsters, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm like, bro, like I just, you know, want to collect them, and that's it. <laughs> I, I mean, I did have, like, don't get me wrong, I love Gen One to death, but I was just like, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Okay, I don't have any. I have one antidote. Lies, so we're good. No, not on torture, friend. No one, no one needs it. So give it to me a scram. How about no? <laughs> I had to hit it with the cat. Steve Rogers, no thanks. I don't think I will. <laughs> but speaking of which, like, Falcon and Witch Soldier is so good. Um, I won't spoil anything, of course, for peeps, but I highly recommend it. A lot of people, I don't know, this happened in WandaVision too, where, like, I love the fact that we all are able to share our opinions on the internet. But the one internet opinion that drives me mad when new Marvel shows come out is that they're, and I, I think it's more of like people who just want the action. They don't want the story build up. And like, I'm the type of person where I appreciate both, which is why I don't get too upset if the episode isn't too much action, but a lot of story. I do like my action, don't get me wrong, but there are a lot of people saying like, oh, WandaVision didn't get good to episode three, or like Falcon and Winter Soldier just started getting good. And like, it kind of makes me scratch my head a bit because I thought Falcon and Winter Soldier had a stronger start than WandaVision. I thought both were great, don't get me wrong. But I was hooked into both. Um, like, day one. And I, I thought the first two episodes of WandaVision were hilarious. And really, really cool. And, like, set a tone for, like, the twisted, you know, stuff that was going on. And a lot of good stuff. So, yeah, it's really good. And, like, it's been good since episode one. Like, I loved... Seeing Sam back, I like seeing the stuff that Bucky was going through post Infinity War and all that, and you know, Endgame kind of coming back and you know, watching his best friend go and you know, just getting acclimated to life and all that. It was really good. Like, I thought it was a good start. I thought episode two was super powerful with Isaiah Bradley and all that. I freaked out seeing him. I was like, what the? I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I never in my life, I was like, when they were like, oh, Super Soul Joseph. Oh my god. It's him. Straight up. Uh, so it was good. It was really good. I, I like the series a lot. I think Marvel's just, you know, I was on offense of them doing Disney Plus shows. Not that I didn't think it was good, but I felt like, you know, I just like the movie format. But looking at 
Winter Soldier looking at WandaVision, while I think they would have been fantastic movies, I think with everything that went on, I would have preferred a television show that expanded weeks and weeks that went beyond the length of a traditional movie than if that was crammed into a movie because I feel like so much would have got lost. Like, and it would have been enough time in like two or three hours to really flesh out. So, I freaking love it. Um, I think we'll get me. I do want to get like somebody else out. I'm probably thinking like... Alex? I think that... Also, I'm so glad the sound is much better than it was yesterday, because like, my mic was super low. Like, I watched the VOD and I was like, it's good, it's just, I'm sounding so loud, so I can fix it. <laughs> Marcus. I agree the first two episodes of Vision a bit. Yeah, and like, don't get me wrong, I'm down for people saying they were more, like, I'm down for people not liking them. It's just, I guess, my, like... And, and I try to not sound, like, gatekeepy or snobby or, like, bad. Because I feel like, for me personally, um, you become a fan when you become a fan. Whether you read the comics, whether you uh, watch a movie, whether you just started. Like, one of my good buddies, um, we, we've been friends since college. We, we've been friends for about... God, seven years at this point? Seven, eight years? It's been a hot minute. But one of my closest friends, she started getting into the MCU. She always knew what comics were because we were RAs together. And, like, I would be the nerdy RA, obviously, and talk about video games and comics with, with my good best friend. Um, but she just never got into them. And then this year, or oh, last year, I should say, she, like, really wanted to watch the entire MCU. So I told her the entire timeline. And I think she got up to... She saw Endgame and Infinity War, and she was watching WandaVision and now watching with the Soldier, and she loved it. And that's what I love about new fans and stuff, right? Coming in, I think that's great. Whenever new people come into stuff, um, I say the same thing about anime. Like, I love when new people are like, oh, I watched this anime for the first time, or one of my good friends watched Bebop for the first time. And we had like a really good conversation. So I'm always welcoming for new people to come in and try everything and do what you love. Like, you know, there's, there's no gate blocking anything just come in have fun you know like what you like dislike what you dislike and all that right i just think for me the only thing that grinds my gears with the people online is like you know without i won't spoil anything for wandavision or even allude to anything for father and winter soldier for those members of the anime who are still need to watch it because i'm going to respect them but there were certain fan theories that you know may or may not have happened right and people were so like mad but i'm like none of that was promised though. you know what i'm saying and, and, and i think it's cool i speculated i, I was a part of that and, but i was also mature enough to go they didn't even need those quote unquote characters like it would have been cool to see them but it's gonna be even cooler because we've been denied them so long that when they do show up hint hint wink wink um when they do show up a, a certain product that i am uh, wearing today I'm hyped for these guys to get their movie. Because I, I've been wanting a good Fantastic Four movie for years. The first one was, I, you know what, the first one was great. The second one was garbage. We don't even talk about Fantastic. Oh man. That movie was hot garbage. I was like, I didn't even claim that as a movie. I saw it got like a five or on potatoes. I'm like, you know, I'm the type of person, I look at reviews, but they're not like my end of VR, right? Because, you know, I, there were some people, certain gaming sites, they know who they are, who said Godzilla vs. King Kong was boring. And as soon as I heard that, because they said there was too much focus on the monsters, and I'm like, the movie is called King Kong vs. Godzilla. It is not called Human Love Interest 1, 2, or 3. It is not called Lost Kid Needs Help 4 or 5. It is not called Home Alone. It is Godzilla vs. King Kong. So, of course, it's going to focus on the monsters, right? <laughs> But like, I just sat there and I laughed and I'm just like, I need, I'm all for people having opinions, but that one, I'm just like, I, I can't, I can't back that with good faith. Cause the movie is called King Kong vs. Godzilla. I'm gonna catch the soul rock cause I bumped into it like seven times. I feel like it's telling me it wants a home and stuff. One thing I wish is the X-Men Avengers crossovers, but I think X-Men rights are still owned by Fox. I forgot just like Sony rights are still owned by Spider-Man. So Space World, you're right about the last part. 
Disney actually bought Fox Studios. They have the rights to... They've always had the rights to X-Men, right? Like, they've always had the rights to X-Men. In terms of Disney was able... In the cartoons and animated series, like, Disney could have done a ton with X-Men. The only thing they did not have the absolute rights to were the movies. Now that the Fox deal went through, they got the Fantastic Four, um, the X-Men, like all X-Men characters, and Deadpool. So they're technically owned under Disney Fox Studios. So like Disney bought them out like two years ago, officially. And they got approved last year. So they had the like they made the deal, but then they had to wait for like the big people to be like, is this okay? Um And then as for Spidey. Disney owns the rights to like Spider-Man cartoons. That includes Peter Parker, Miles Morales, Gwen Stacy. They own the rights to do a cartoon with them, right? Which I think Miles Morales has a cartoon where he's getting the cartoon, I think. But the only thing they don't have the rights to are the movie rights. Now what happened with Spidey that is very interesting and we need to watch out for. There was a deal with Disney from the first, I think, first um, Spidey movie, right? Where Sony got 70 something percent of the money. Disney got 30. But Disney did all the damn work and Sony just promoted it. So Sony was like, You want Spidey and this, 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 this? This is what we need. They wanted Kevin Feige to produce it because they love Kevin Feige. They wanted to have a say in which Spider Man was picked, which Tom Holland was picked by Sony and Disney, but is technically under a Sony contract. So they made him know, like, if this ever falls through, you were on Team Sony, so they made that clear to him. Um, and then from there, they worked out like the biggest thing with the deal wasn't even the money, it was they wanted Kevin Feige to come up with like the script and like come up with everything for Spidey, like next steps. What does he do? How does he look, right? So, what happened was initially with this deal, the reason why it broke the first place, um, and we weren't gonna get a Spidey 3 for a second, Sony and Disney, being both greedy companies, because I, I told people, people were like, oh, blame Sony, blame Disney. I was like, blame both of them, because they're both greedy as hell. Personally. <laughs> and that, that, that's my, like, you know, non-positive take on it. I love Disney, love Sony, greedy as hell. So the problem was, and this is where it came from, um, I'm actually going to switch out here. And I'm going to put it in the The problem was, Sony and Disney were, the contract was up, and they alluded to, that's why I like the ending of Far From Home, which I will not talk about, was very vague, because the idea for a third movie was going to happen, but it was like, is it going to be a, oh, Disney's still a love part of this, or, oh, we're on our own now, so we have to pretend that stuff didn't happen, and come up with a new solution. So that's when the deal broke off. And Spidey was now back Sony only. He couldn't hang out with the Avengers. Tom Holland, very emotional, um, called both the CEOs and was like, I love this role. I love doing this. I want to finish my tale with Spider-Man, but I want I want to be with my Avengers friends. Like, it's, you know, you, you grow close to them. Like, I remember when Spidey got confirmed for Civil War and I hyperventilated in my office because Spidey is one of my top three favorite superheroes of all time. Right after Black Panther Academy, literally, is someone that, like, I love as a character. And grew up with in the 90s and had Spider-Man toys and Spider-Man comforters and Spider-Man action figures. Big Spidey head. Still always will be. Like, Spider-Man's just that dude. You know? Everyone sees Spider-Man and you can point him out anywhere because he's red mask and he's a giant spider. But he's iconic as hell because everyone sees themselves in Peter Parker. Now there's a lot of people, which is dope, seeing themselves in Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy. And you love to see it. Um, oh yeah, he's a friendly, he's friendly neighborhood too. I, I see what you did there. I like that. So once Tom Holland pleaded his case, both CEOs sat down with their management teams and went, "All right, let's make this work." So they agreed to split it not evenly. Sony's still getting more money, and Disney's doing work, but it's like. It's a better deal for both sides. Where Disney doesn't feel like we're not getting anything from this. They're getting some money. But Sony also is like 
giving Disney more control with Spidey to do stuff. Which is the deal they should agree with in the first place. They could have just sat that down and was like, all right, here's the deal. We do Spider-Man, we do Civil War, Spidey gets his own film, um, Spidey gets a sequel, Infinity War, Endgame. We will put a third one in, but then after that, we need to revisit this deal. Like, before that third movie gets launched, we need to revisit it for, like, you know, what it looks like. And they could have did a five-year agreement. And if anything happened, just been like, all right, we can void it after year three. I would have did that person. But no, they both had to be stupid. And you know what? My personal thing is they need each other. Sony needs Disney to do a live action Spider-Man because Disney did him justice. Here's my hot take, right? I like, um, what's his name? He's doing Dome Helix. Low Helix. Always. Always Low Helix. I freaking love, um, told me why, right? He's cool. He's a cool dude. You know, everyone loved him as Spidey. Andrew Garfield was decent. wasn't wasn't my first choice. D did his job. But he was he was I. He, he was just I. And, that, and that's not, not not any shade to him. Just personal preference and all that, right? What the hell? I mean, I can't escape. Oh, I'm low level. Oh, yes, yeah, a fast choice. Yeah, lower hair looks always. <laughs> lower hair looks always. I'm mad they like made my monkey faint though. Like, they could have let me leave. I could have also switched them out, but you know. Took me a while to pick Helix or the other fossil. I just I don't know. The lower Helix memes always make me laugh, so I was like, yeah, I'll get them. Um there's also like, did I skip the moves though? I probably got it. Um but so yeah, my biggest thing is of the three Spider-Man, live action. Tom Holland's my favorite. I just, yeah, we got it. I just think he's the complete version of what Peter Parkin should be and, and Spidey should be. He is dorky as hell enough to be Peter, but cool enough to be Spidey. A lot of people say, well, he's like Iron Man Jr. And I'm like, but in this version of it, he's being mentored by Tony. And like, he's also like a 15, 16 year old kid in this. So of course he's gonna like idolize people, but Spidey, and, and that's what bothered me about people's opinions. I'm like, Spidey's idolized everybody. Hell, and my only beef with it is that he idolizes Cap more. He got no time with Cap. They got one interaction. And I was like, ew. Like, I get putting, um, you think Toby second? Yeah, 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 definitely for me. Andrew Garfield definitely was the third. But, it, like, you know, and I tell people, a lot of people ragged on him. One thing that the Amazing Spider-Man series did, it gave me Gwen Stacy on screen. And that's all I can act for. Because Gwen Stacy is Bay. Gwen Stacy also is my fave. Um, and Spidey Gwen is just dope. So I'm definitely happy for that. But, you know, he got no time with Cap. And I was like, but, but why though? And, I mean, I get it. They wanted to put him more with Tony because, you know, Cap was on the run and Cap was doing stuff. So it makes sense. But I kind of wish they had more of like a cool moment to chat. Or like Cap gave me some motivational advice. But that's okay. That, that's okay. It's just it's a minor complaint. But you know, for people saying he was Iron Man Jr., I, I, I disagree. I think watching uh, Far From Home, you know, when he has his moment where he's on the beach and he's like, "Come on, Spider Man," he's motivating himself. That was one of the coolest moments I saw in Spider. -Man. Straight up. Like straight up. I like watched that and I was like, "This is really good." Oh, my bad. Homecoming, not far from. I'm mixing up the movies. Homecoming was the first one, far from the second. I was hyped with Tony Stark and Nick Fury and Spider-Man. Um, hate corporate greed, but it is what it is. Yeah, you know, it, I, I hate it too, but I just feel like... And I think both studios know it's right, because the only thing Sony did with Spider-Man, aside from the first series, but Spider-Man 3 ruined that, unfortunately. Spider-Man 1 and 2 are great. Spider-Man 2 is a really good movie. Spider 3, I saw that live and I didn't like it. Oh, great. All oh, my Pokemon need to hurt. <laughs> awesome. Um, Spider 3, I saw it in theaters. Like, I paid actual money for it. I, I was angry. I didn't like it at all. It was not good. It, holy hell. All right. We, we're doing this. Um, yeah, it was just not good. Like, at all. 
But yeah, I, I feel you on that. I, I do, and you know, it's just cool to see Spidey with his Avenger friends. But it's even going to be more cooler, so Space World, to go back to your point, I think they are going to do the X-Men movie. What they need to do is they need to take their time. They need to take their time, but I believe in Kevin Feige. And Kevin Feige, we trust him. And here's why. That man does not miss. Everything he does touches, touches the gold. I am so hyped to see who they're going to cast as a Fantastic Four. Because, good lord, don't mess that up. Do not mess... Like, if you want to get Jim from the office to be Mr. Fantastic, by all means, do it. But, holy hell. Please, 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 please. Do not mess that up. Because, man. I I freaking love the Fantastic Four, as you can see. Rock, rocking the, the Funko shirt. Um, but I absolutely love the Fantastic Four so, so much. They're some of my favorite... My favorite fam in Marvel, but one of my favorite tapes. Uh, but I, I think an X-Men movie is going to be great. The only thing I think they should do is get an entirely new cast. Um, the only person I would welcome back is Lana Condor, who was Jubilee. I think she was great as Jubilee. They didn't do anything with her. She got like two minutes of screen time. I remember watching Apocalypse and I was angry. Because I was like, oh, Lana Condor is dope. She's a really good actress. She's super talented. She's going to rock it as Jubilee, right? She might even get a fighting scene. They did nothing with her. And I sat there, I'm like, you couldn't give her a cool moment? Anything? I was like, damn, okay. That, that, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> I was angry. So, I hope they keep her as Jubilee. Um, obviously, Fastbender and I'm blanking on the other guy's name. For, for, oh, um, no, it's not even Kevin. For his name. Um, James, James McAvoy. There we go brain for working for like two seconds. Uh, that dude. Right, I want that dude to continue being, um... Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to level up team a little bit. Let's give him a double. So you can't escape crap. I'm like... Why? Oh my... No, we're gonna wait it out. We're gonna wait this out until they let me go. Thank you. Jesus. Um... <laughs> man... No freaking way. <laughs> He's back for revenge. He's he literally is back for revenge. Okay. Game. I don't know what sick joke this is, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center. But anyway, back to the MCU talk. Yeah, I think what they should do with X-Men is keep keep Fastbender, keep keep McAvoy, keep Lana Condor. But I think for like a lot of the other cast, they need to recast um, a lot. They, they really do. But my only problem is, and here's what I'm thinking. And here, here here's kind of like my big deal, right? The reason why I reference those two is because, you know, they can play a relatively like, you don't have to make Xavier like super young or super old, but you know, how old is Jay Mac McAvoy? How old is he? Um, let me see. He is, uh, 41. Oh, yeah, he definitely could be Professor X. Okay, because I thought he was, like, 28 or some crap. But he was young. So I was like, mm, maybe you got to get that working. But Tom Holland's playing a, a teenager, and that dude is like, is he my age? I don't know why I'm looking up so these ages during Pokemon streams, but th th this is what's happening right now. Um, <laughs> He's 24. He's actually, like, four years younger than me. Wow. Okay, well, I mean, he's relatively close to Peter Parker, so it makes sense. Actually, by the time, like, you know, he gets a movie after the third, he'll be in Peter's age, which is just wild. So at least they got the castle right on that. We're going to level up a little bit because I'm getting my butt handed to me and I, I don't. I, in the words of Vision, I am not amused at all. <laughs> so we're going to get everybody like 21. You know, just, just level up the squad a bit while, while I do some superhero training. I forgot. Yeah, I mean, so, I forgot to look it up, but. I am 110% down with him coming back as X and, you know, Fastbender coming back as Magneto, if they want them to come back, which I'm assuming that, knowing Feige and how he does it, like, Ryan Reynolds got confirmed back for Deadpool because he was a great Deadpool. People love him. He's funny. He's hilarious, right? So, when that happened, I was like, oh, I'm nervous that they're going to get rid of him, but they kept him, so there's a chance they may do it, you know? There is a chance it may happen. So we'll see. 
Oh, Intrigo's evolving. Let's go. But yeah, um... I think that'd be hyped if they kept those two and a couple other people. Olivia must keep the Asylog if she wants. Uh, she might be busy. But, uh... I forgot Rare Candy works, um, different. The console games, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back in the old days, we couldn't do, like, Max Candies. That was funny. Yeah, 100%. I, I hope they come back. Oh, yeah, I can't believe Ryan Reynolds played the superhero in DC and Marvel. There's a couple of people who do that. I mean, you know, James Gunn, due to unfortunate reasons, but he's back. He, he directs. When he got fired from Marvel, he went straight to DC and they brought him back for Guardians. Um. I mean, freaking Zoe Santana, or Sandander, if I'm saying, I feel bad, I'm going to her name, she's, she's awesome, she's, she's very pretty. Um, she is an avatar in Avengers, so whenever, like, those box sales go up, like, her bank account just gets bigger and bigger because they're fighting for it. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of people who do that. Actually, I think, is J.K. Simmons going to be in Batman? Or was he in Batman? Oh, that's what happened. Okay, he was hoping to be Commissioner Gordon, but no, he's not a part of Batman. Got it, got it. Because I was going to say he was, you know, he, he's in Marvel as uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, it's wild that, like, Ryan Reynolds got to do that. Even though the funny thing is, like, he, he probably would not be thrilled about um, real end. It's funny how he memes it. Because I never watched it. But it's funny to see actors that hate their movies. I just think that's absolutely funny. Because, you know, you do a lot of work to get in it. And all this time to, like, do it. And just looking back on it, you're like, damn, I hated that. It's like, oh, ouch. But I feel you. <laughs> the fans hated it, too. Uh, what about J.K. Simmons again? Oh, I was saying, like, I thought he was going to be the Batman movie, but he's actually not. Somebody else is going to be Commissioner Gordon. It's a really talented actor, too. I forgot his name. Um, let me do the Batman. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, I forgot who's going to play him. Um, it's Jeffrey something, I think. What a movie. Jeffrey Wright. Yeah, he's also... Go oh, okay, so he's technically... Jeffrey Wright, technically, um, is Marvel and DC, because he's going to be the Watcher in the What If series coming out this summer, which I'm super freaking hyped for What If. I can't wait for that. And I know this Funko Pop's coming out for it, so my wallet is going to be crying this summer. Between that and all the games coming out, like No More Heroes and Canada Bridge of Spirits, just a lot of good stuff, a lot of good guys, but 110% down um, for what if. But yeah, he's technically a Marvel DC guy too, because he's in both. I saw Green Lantern. Um, he did meet his future wife there. That is true. That is one benefit, though. That absolutely is a benefit. Let me check something real quick over here. While I'm waiting. Cause I we gotta level squad up. They 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 struggling.
Like, your route's up to the 25. Jeez. I'm glad we got Combustion now, my boy. But eventually we'll get Amphi and Guanabara real soon. This team will start looking more complete. I'm like, let's level up the squad. Let's get, let's get them to the, you know, the mid forms and all that. I forgot you level up at 20. Your routes is a route for a long time. There we go. So like straight up, we could fight Misty first. Like, I guess at 20, I feel brave enough to try that. Yay! Alright, good. Raw type? Yeah. Routes is like, Routes is definitely like my second favorite uh, psychic. Like just the Gu Routes line is my second favorite psychic Pokemon ever. I freaking love that. Obviously, SP, um, of course, Alakazam and all that. But you know, I do stuff. Okay, I'm gonna save. We're gonna do a safety save and then we'll fight Misty. Because the reason why I'm doing a save and then a safety save. My internal file was like not loading when I just went to the game. I don't know why. And I was like, all right, well, there's that. Um, which was kind of annoying. So I was like, all right, sweet. We'll just do that. The load also takes a bit of time, but it does work. It just scared the hell out of me because it's like, you good? <laughs> I was like, uh. We'll see, but yeah, it works in a minute. There we go. Yeah, the first time that happened, it freaked me the hell out. I was like, I'm gonna give it another minute before I reset. And then it, it worked out. So let's go fight Misty. Because I was like, we can fight Nugget Bridge, but you know what? I believe in the squad. They're leveled up, they're ready to go. Yo, Dr. Seuss moves, what up? How are you? What's going on, bud? Good to see ya. Fire Red with a game. Yeah, it's Fire Red Omega. It is a um ROM hack of Pokemon Fire Red. Um, one of my favorite like hacks. Honestly, I have such a good time with it. How are you? Happy Tuesday. Hope all is well. Hope life is good. Oh, what makes it different? Oh, that's a really good question. So, what makes it different is, I'll show you my team, actually. Basically, all the Pokemon that lead up to Gen 3, so all, at this time, 368, or sorry, 386 is the correct number. Those Pokemon can be obtainable in this game. That includes Legends. There's also some new areas, um, and a lot of new stuff. So, like, there's a couple new areas you can go to, and all of the gym leaders have really, really tough Pokemon, and they all have six. Um, we fought Brock twice due to some technical difficulties, um, but they all have a team of six, and for the most part, like, this is the crew, but we got these Pokemon as, like, gifts. So we got the home one, like, starters as legit gifts. The starters in this game are the elemental babies, so, like, Ele Elekid, Magby, and Smoochum, um, which is really cool. So you can pick whatever one you want. 
Um, you can build a lot, a lot of good teams overall. Like, I'm running a team of, like, 10 at this point. So, this, this is my starting six. But there are definitely some other Pokemon I need to think about. Also, I got to think of Super Potions, so I'm going to do that. Because, you know, I, even though I, I know we got this battle, um, that, like, Rhyhorn that had, you know, Flamethrower, I didn't like. <laughs> Like, I knew it was happening, but I was like, why? Corsal is strong. They're too strong. Let him. Oh, are you kidding me? Godzilla anime gets a global release in June on Netflix. Oh, I'm in there. I have Netflix too. You know what? That might be something we do as an anime squad. I I'm down. I'm absolutely down for that. I forgot it was going on here. Found the button. Yes, let's go. You have Netflix? Sweet. Yeah, what I'll, I mean, I have Netflix, what I'll do is, like, um, because I think in Netflix you can, like, share your, uh, screen and stuff and be able to, so, um, I'll host it and then, like, you know, ping people. We'll make, like, a new role, like, movie night or, like, anime night or whatever. Um, shout out to the Fire Squad. <laughs> I, they do that. So I kind of, like, adopted that from them. Um, let me go get some super potions, though. I am not gonna fight Misty, you know, not not at full strength. But yeah, we'll do that and then I'll share it so that way people can watch and stuff. But I'm definitely down for that guy's a little um, anime. I don't know how many episodes it would be, so I'll check it out. But I'm assuming they'll probably do like weekly episodes or if it's Netflix, the whole series. So we'll probably like watch a couple per night. I do love the music in this town. It's also used in Future City. And it's really good. Yeah, we'll buy like eight. I don't know why I give you Mystic Water. What the? 9,000 bucks. I'm good. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's do this. Let's get ready. Let's go fight the queen herself, Misty. And I'm hyped for this, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm legit hyped. Without further ado, let's do this. So we're going to start off with Flaffy up front. Um, Robot, other kid in the rotation. Emergency? Curia and then Marsh Tomp, Combuskin is not going to be viable for the Shino. But that's okay. That's like, hey, okay. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. At all. I hear no face. All the trainers um, who have a policy of Pokemon. I couldn't read the last one because I'm blocking it. <laughs> also, they changed it to the Elite Four music. Which is pretty win. All right, Star you. That's normal. Level 18. I'm not afraid of that. I'm, I'm a little afraid. Of, why didn't I use Thunder Punch then? I probably should have used Thunder Punch. Oh, I should have used Thunder Punch. <laughs> okay, Thunder Punch. Then. All right. You know what? Nine million IQ play. You get her to use the Super Potion on the first Pokemon. And then you just wait. There you go. All right. It worked out. I do have to heal. 
depending on what she throws out next. Sada, I, I'm good. I am still gonna heal, because I don't want to underestimate it. Good. The war falls man. We could do some damage. All right, not, 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 not too bad. Not too bad, though. It can confuse people, though. So we're gonna... Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was like, we're gonna see. Um... Let's go, Flaffy. See, this is why this is why the Flaffy line, my favorite Pokemon line ever. Seedra. Don't know how I feel about a level 20 Seedra. Dragon Ring. Oh, no. Uh oh. Yeah, that's kill. Alright, that's alright, though. Flaffy, you did a good job, bud. You, 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 served, you served the anime squad well, friend. That's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. I'm proud of you. Victory or defeat. Hello, kid. You got revenge for your friend, which is good. Just love this, though. We'll see. We'll, we'll, if I say it could have something cool. It could have Earthquake. You know how this, uh, you know, hack has been. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Yep. Alright, Alicate, come here, buddy. I'm gonna need you to fight through your love. Fight through it, friend. Yo, Joshi! Thank you for the raid. What's going on, Raiders? How are you? Hope all is well. Hey, Oshi Ray. Welcome on in, friends. Hope you're doing well. Good to see y'all. My name is Jack, aka Enemy Hero 92. I play a variety of games, including the one you see in today, Pokemon Fire Red. Particularly, this Fire Red is Fire Red Omega, which is a um, hack of Fire Red with some cool new features. Uh, so we're going against Misty right now. I see uh, our good friend Pixie Guts. Welcome back, VGM Taylor, Oshi Ray. Appreciate you being here. Uh, Vault Lenny, welcome back, friend. Good to see you. Hey, Oshi, what's going on, homie? How are you? How are your stream? What were you playing? I think we were playing some Dragon Ball Fighters, right? We're here for the quality of content and good anime taste. Hey, VGM Taylor, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Anime Squad. It's nearly 1 a.m. for you? Oh, man, you are here with the Late Night Squad. It is almost 8 p.m. for me. What are your thoughts on Pop Rocks? Um, They're really good. I love Pop Rocks when I was a kid. I still like them. I haven't had them in ages, though. May you play like, six games? Oh, snap. What games did you play? Let me know. Uh, good to see you. Let me do a shout out to uh, just Oshi. I know we call him Oshi, uh, but let me get a shout out command for just Oshi. Shout out. Definitely check out their channel. You were playing Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Nice, 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 nice. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you for that. Bucket Conrad, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Shout out to uh, both of y'all for the follows. Y'all actually got me past 350. Uh, so I want to thank y'all so much. It was a, a milestone I was going for, so I highly appreciate it. And Oshi, thank you so much for the raid. I hope your stream was well. I hope uh, everything was well for everyone. Happy Tuesday coming in. Uh, to those who are new and those who are returning, it's a pleasure to see you as always. Oh, thank you so much, Pixie. I appreciate it. I was actually checking out um, a lot of people's like channels the other day. So, oh, it, it's awesome. I, I appreciate everyone being here. I always tell people the numbers aren't the big thing for me. It's the community. Um, so when I say it's a milestone, it, it's a group milestone because you all like not only follow, but are awesome and check out my stream and come by and hang out. Um, so I just appreciate every single person being here like, straight up. It, it really means a lot to me. So, so thank you all. I am going to switch out because, <laughs> uh, my elicids and love and confuse, which is a poem that could write itself. So... <laughs> But I highly appreciate it. But welcome in. You're 210. Congratulations. Well deserved. Well earned. Definitely vibe. Definitely celebrate. I always tell people, um, you know, especially just in streaming, like celebrate your wins. Like a lot of people say small wins, but um, they're big wins because you know what? That's another person that saw your content and was like, hey, you know what? I feel safe here. I feel like the streamer is awesome. I'm going to support them. And really, that's a good milestone. So. Whether you get people lurking, checking out for the first time, just saying, hey, you know, all that is important. So definitely, definitely appreciate everyone being here as always and appreciate seeing everyone's good work. 
I'm glad you played like six awesome games though. That's that's nice. I think I was lurking during the uh, Dragon Ball Fighters one though. That's cool. I actually want to play um Saga Adventures. Oh, thanks. No, no, y'all are good. Honestly, like y'all coming in, just being here. I really just want to hear about how y'all days have been. Like how you're doing. Like how's everybody doing? You know, hopefully everyone is safe, having a good Tuesday. Shout out to the people who are here at 1 a.m. If you need to get some rest, do not let me affect your sleep. Uh, we do have the VODs up. I actually forgot to put my social glass on. Um, but I can drop those real quick. Top tier anime hero, thank you. These are my socials, um, my Twitter, my Instagram. Uh, you're already at my Twitch, uh, but you know, I put it up there in case people need it. And my YouTube, I do put the VODs up daily on YouTube. So if there are a couple of people who, you know, want to watch this, you can watch it on Twitch, but I know some people prefer to watch VODs on YouTube if they're listening to music and stuff like that. Um, and all that good stuff. So, hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I put a lot of stuff on my Twitter. Um, usually, like, going live updates. Um, I know people are in the Discord, but some people, like, either are in, like, 50 Discords and don't want a lot of notifications, and I respect that. Um, so, I also put one going live on Twitter and stuff, too. Um, and it's also helpful in case I ever do a bonus stream, which I might be thinking about this week. I, I gotta see how I feel. Um, I was a little tired today, <laughs> so I was like, we'll see. Oof, big oof. Okay. My two aces are gone. But there is Grovile, who I believe in. And I feel like he can do it. I appreciate that. Thank God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I felt like he can do it. Critical hit. It couldn't take him out, though? He's paralyzed, so cool. Yeah, I knew that was happening. Straight up lemonade. Full health. Look, this is what we gotta do. We gotta put that. I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be a slow battle, but you know what? That's fine. Right. Yo, um, Sonic or Shadow? Who's cooler? Sonic. And let me tell you why. I am a Sonic fan. I have been a proud Sonic fan since the year in my username, 1992. Sonic is my boy. I am a Sonic fanatic. Love Sonic to death. I've always been Team Sonic. Um, I, I, Pixie Gus, I do think Shadow is dope, though. Like, I, you know, I, I think Shadow is cool. I'll drop bits if I could. Me and Shadow will be over here. No, Shadow is cool. Here's my, like, honest, honest like, Sonic ranking, right? Straight up. Straight up. Like, Sonic and Tails are my, like, two, two faves. Like, I grew up with them. Loved them. I watched the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. Um, I'm going to call BF and get some bed. I'll go to bed. I got work in the morning. Have a good stream. Uh, Valenny, I appreciate it. You get some rest. Have a good one. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it as always. Really, really appreciate you all too. I <laughs> get deeds. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely get a ton of rest. Uh, I'm going to heal up. It's going to be a long fight. Aww. Yeah, I hope you have a good one and get get a ton of rest and hopefully you have a good time. <laughs> but yeah, um, okay, right, I gotta, we I gotta heal straight up. So yeah, I love Sonic Tails. I think after that, we, you know, of course, be Knuckles. Um, you know, he doesn't chuckle. So um, <laughs> yeah, no. Damn it, um, I don't have any. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. You know, th this is fine. This is all fine. <laughs> I love the emos too. They're really good. Okay. So we saved ourselves there. We you, we just gonna make it. I'm I'm gonna believe in Grover. I, I'm gonna believe in him that that he can give me this one. And I'm also gonna believe in Super. I don't even know what her last Pokemon is. Also, I don't know why I'm not using the blue. This is my kill. Survive, survive. Ooh, barely. Barely, but we made it. Yeah, I don't know why I wasn't using Zorb in the first place. I'm absolutely gonna heal here. I was about to like fight it. Last super potion, worth it. Cause worst case scenario, Marshomp can at least, at least help out if I need to like, if I can stop going to my back. If I need to do this. 
Perfect. R RNG Jesus, appreciate you. Appreciate you, friend. I'm good. Yeah, but how's everybody's day been? Hopefully you all are doing well, having a good, good uh, Tuesday. Togetic. Interesting. Here's the deal. I'm not going to put out Combustion because it could have a flyer type move straight up. Yes, a legend. <laughs> My dude. Um. Yeah. This is the play. This is absolutely the play. Please do something stupid. Nice shade. Day's been good. Uh, day's been great so far. It's been busy with work, uh, my IRL job and stuff. So, oh no, rip. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That is absolutely it. <laughs> this thing is a damn troll. All right, Combuskin, I just need you. If you can burn this thing, you will be an absolute hero. That's it. That's it. Yeah, my dude, look at that. Look at that, let's go! All right. You, you know what? Totally not scripted. Totally not scripted. Okay. Shadow Punch. I'm mad it's not getting splash or anything like that. Straight up getting moves. But we got this, because if anything, you know, Glow Ball's next. What if he gets like a scroll? I was about to laugh my ass off if he did. <laughs> If he would have got exploded, I would have, like, backed away from the game. Are you kidding? Alright. Of course, this is going to be dramatic as hell. He's going to die either way, so I'm not too pissed. Watch him get exploded. Oh, something stupid. I guarantee it. I saw the E and I freaked out. Friendship ended, <laughs> Friendship ended with Marsh Tom Kabuskin is my best friend now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Whew. Imagine Togek is not existing yet. Yeah, I... There are some, like, um, I forgot the name of it. I don't think Prism had it. I think Brown might. I think Pokemon Brown does. Because Pokemon Brown, I think, had up to Gen 5 or Gen 6 Pokemon. Imagine, like, a Togekiss. I, um, <laughs> God. <laughs> I straight up, um, not that I didn't love Togekiss, but, like, I didn't get... Like, I knew it was good, but I didn't think it was, like, that good when I was, like, first playing Gen 4. And then I went against some in competitive battles, and I saw how much of a demon it was to a point where I just got one. And, like, I bred for, like, a good IV one and good nature and all that. And, like, I actually have one in Sword and Shield, which I might revisit Sword and Shield to do some shiny hunting in the future. Um, I have a crap ton of shinies. We still need to get that shiny Trico. Um, so maybe that might be a stream in the future. I, I would just probably have to set it up because I think last time I was 200 eggs in and I just got the motivation wasn't there. Serene Grace with Frenching. Yeah. Oh, for real? Oh, that's dope. Nice, nice, nice. What was like your favorite shiny to get? And you can say multiple because I know it's like a loaded question to be like, what was your favorite shiny? You have 10 boxes? Nice. Straight up. I have a lot of um, foreign dittos. Shout out to Sword and Shield's foreign ditto trade line. It, it helped me that a lot. <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm gonna need one because if I ever get one in the future. So it worked out. Thank you. Personal favorite shot, I'm gonna need a sec. Yeah, take your time, take your time. Um, for me, straight up, I'll answer why y'all are waiting. Um, for me, I remember I got shiny. It took me 300 eggs to get a shiny score bunny, and I did another hunt for fun, and I got the second one in two eggs. And I was like, what is this witchcraft? And why do I like it? <laughs> So, and then the third shiny score bunny took me like 500. So I was like, well, damn. Okay, Smoochum, now it's personal. Now it is, it is now personal. We'll take out my favorite Pokemon like that. 
Okay. Got it. Got it. We're gonna hit you with Ember Bud. <laughs> you do like Typhlosion. Nice. You got four shiny setup clothes. Forgot about that. Um, I like Shiny Lot Bunny. Yeah, Shiny Lot Bunny's dope. Funkaboo's really cool. We're down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Um, Senequil is just my favorite Pokemon. Nice! You have good taste bucket. Um, I absolutely freaking love Senequil. Senequil is dope. Senequil is my second favorite fire starter after Charmander, of course. Um, but Senequil is the homie. It's just really cute. I'm gonna use Senequil in Pokemon, um, Legends when it comes out. Like, everyone was like, Team Piplop or, um, not, not Team Piplop, Team Oshawott. And I was like, no. Team Rowlet, I respect a lot. You got good taste bucket now on KOC. <laughs> oh man. Um, you recently decided that Totodile is the best Pokemon. I am with you. I am absolutely with you. I think Totodile is a dope Pokemon. I like Totodile a lot. Um, it's a really cool Pokemon. In terms of where it ranks in my water stars, I would say top three. Think about it. Yeah, definitely top three. I would probably say Mudkip, Squirtle, Totodile, and that Just because I really freaking like Mudkip. Imagine losing to a Typhlosion with Thunder Punch. Yeah, because that's been my dude to use. <laughs> yeah, Typhlosion is uh, Typhlosion is the best of the gen. Um, imagine not having a Crocodile with a Mohawk. <laughs> that is fair point on both sides, honestly. Couldn't be me. <laughs> that That is fair. That's absolute fair. To, to both of those points. It's logical, it makes sense. You know, a crocodile with a mohawk is dope. But also a giant fire mouse that can use Thunder Punch is also dope. Just I'm very proud of y'all for not picking uh Chikorita. Uh no shade to any Chikorita fans. But I, I can't. I can't do it. I, I I just can't do it. I also feel the same way about Bulbasaur, which I know is gonna get a lot of hate. I'm sorry. Um, one of my good friends who's a mod here, my buddy Miles, does not, like, he gets pissed at me when I make fun of Bulbasaur. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean Bulbasaur is the best Gen 1 starter? And I'm like, it is Charmander, Squirtle, Fighting Pokemon IRL, and then Bulbasaur. And that one. Don't laugh at Bulbasaur. <laughs> I don't think it's bad. It's just like, as long as you don't evolve it, that's true, Captain. But you know what, but honestly, like, I like Ivysaur. I like Ivysaur a lot. I really do. I, I really do. Like, I, I actually like Ivysaur a lot. I think Ivysaur is dope. Oh my god, the chat. <laughs> I, I think Ivysaur is the best of the, like, three, personally. Thank you, Flower. <laughs> I will say, I, I do think Bulbasaur design is cool. I, I, I think it is a cool Pokemon. I have a lot of respect for it. But, it's just of the three, my rankings would be Charmander, Squirtle, and then Bulbasaur. You know? Now, the best grass starter, in my opinion, is a tie between Trico and Rowlet. Straight up. Um, Turtwig also. You know what? Yeah, I can't, I can't. How dare I forget Turtwig? That's on me. Um... Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I, I would definitely say those three. Um, the other ones are kind of. Snivy's a right, but I I didn't go with it when I used it. I was like, all right, I kind of prefer Tepic and Oshawott. So. Oh, that's a cute emo with the Bulbasaur. See, there you go. Okay, that Bulbasaur is set. It's cool. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna just switch here. I'm gonna And board's disgustingly cool. It really is. I think the only problem I have with it is not the firefighting, it's just like. We have Blaziken, Infernape, and then when I saw Embor, I was like, it it looks good. I just I don't know. Like it looked so good to use. But for some reason Oshawa just stole my heart when it like evolved. Because the first stage is weird looking. But D.Y. and Samurai look absolutely clean. They look really good. 
Like, DY is probably my favorite, like, design of the, the, the Pokemon so far. You didn't get him Ajawa? Oh, cool. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, okay, I see that. You love Ajawa? It, it grew on me as a Pokemon. It really did. I'm assuming y'all are picking Ajawa for Pokemon Legends, though. Um, which, which I respect. Not so much a sold out. Yeah, I'll definitely say. You have the water types. is definitely Mudkip, um, Squirtle, Totodile, and then Faroki. And then Ajawa for me. Faroki just looked great. But Embor's King. I feel ya. Yeah, Embor, Embor took some time to grow. I did use Embor the first time I beat uh, Black, though. And then for Black 2, I used Ajawa and had a blast. I was like, this, this might be one of my favorite water stories ever. <laughs> it's so good. Faroki interesting? Yeah, you know what it is? Straight up with Faroki. At first, I saw a Chespin, Fennekin, and Faroki. And for some reason, the biggest mistake of my life, I was Team Chespin. First time I was ever a Team Grass star in my life. And I was like, I don't know what it is. I feel like he's going to do something cool and evolve into something cool. So, this is before the starters got leaked back on Instagram way back in the day. When I saw Chespin's final Evo, Chestnut, I was like, oh, that looks good. I'll use it. I had Chespin for 10 minutes and was like, this is the worst mistake I've made in Pokemon game. I was like, good God, no. So, Fennekin I liked, but for some reason, I just wasn't vibing with like the other five starters. So, I was like, what about Faroki? You know, it's a cool water type. It evolves into a cool ninja, so I'll get it. Use it. My dude, one of my favorite, favorite Pokemon ever used. Um... Love this so much that I absolutely wanted it on my team for whatever game I was playing. Don't see a lot of people mention Faroki. Yeah, you know, Greninja's design at first got a lot of hate in the Pokemon community. People were like, it's ugly. They didn't like that his tongue was a scarf. They thought it was, like, not good. But then, I don't, for some reason, the opinions of it just turned around. And people were like, this is the best looking one of the Gen 6 line. And I agree. Uh, I thought Delphox was second. I thought Chestnut was the absolute worst. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it, it did not hold up for prime time, which is kind of sad, but tis what it is. Actually, like I was talking about it, I was like, you know what? I'm really cool with. I like Nugget Bridge a lot. Alright, um, just Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch is one of my favorite moves of all time, so I'll use it. Um, Faroki was the best by Country Mile. No, I agree. 100%. I, I am definitely in agreement. At first, I was a Fennekin stand, and I wanted it to be so much better than it was, and I was hurt. It wasn't. I was like, you could be so good, because a Fire Psychic type is so clean. They're like two of my favorite types together. But unfortunately... Unfortunately... It wasn't good. <laughs> but I, I wasn't too sad about it, because, you know... A lot of Pokemon I like, so. Yeah, I definitely did. I, I grew to be Team Faroki overnight when that happened and had a blast when you were Pokemon. And then the biggest, like, internal issue I had was actually Sun and Moon. I freaking love cats. They're my favorite animal. Like, hands down. Also, shout out to the Eevee. It's adorable. I freaking love cats, right? So, I was like lit, hands down, like it's a fire cat. It's my favorite starter type, my favorite animal, I'm gonna get it. Poplio I saw was like, absolutely not. Even though Primarina looks really, really good. Primarina is a good looking Pokemon, right? You wanna know what took my heart? I saw this little owl. And at first I thought it looked weird. And I was like, it scares me. But then, for some reason, I saw some of the animations admit. 
Did you think Fennekin was a cat? No, no, no. I knew I knew it was a fox. Um, Oshi. Oh, I meant for Litten. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Definitely a fox. <laughs> That's definitely a fox. Um, I actually don't nickname Pokemon, but if I did, I would have named it Tails. Um, and all that. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. No worries. I, I've done that in streams too, where I came back and I went AFK for a second. I was lurking, and I look and I'm like, I missed the context here. <laughs> it's all good. Don't worry. That happened to me many. It happened to me yesterday in my friend stream, because um, he was asking me a question. I didn't get back to him, and like he asked me again. I was like, oh god, my bad. I was getting dinner. <laughs> um, but uh, it's a viper. What the? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep flapping out. But I saw a Rowlet, and for some reason. I was like, this looks really cool as a Pokemon. I'm liking his movesets. His Evo looks really good. I want one. So I picked Litten as my starter. And on Surprise Trade, or Wonder Trade at the time, I, I went and got a Rowlet. And was super happy because I wanted both of them. And as much as I love Litten and um, Incineroar line, I was using Rowlet hands down for everything. <laughs> So I told myself that was the most like conflict of thank God I don't have to trade like some kid in school or you know somebody in my like friend group or whatever if they had an extra rallet I could straight up just go to find some random person online reading a bunch of starters and give me one of their reject rallets and I'm like fine which is dope so. Rouse are cute. I don't like the rest of the Litten turns into. Oh, Incineroar? Um, I mean, I can feel you on that. His design is a little, it, it took not time to grow on me. I liked it a lot. I think I liked it because it was fire dark, but I clearly think they wanted to do firefighting, but I think they would have gotten hell if they did. Like Game Freak probably would have got a lot of like, I mean, they get hate mail anyway for whatever they do, but that's a whole nother point. Um, if they did firefighting, People would have been like, no way, this is like the whatever because I can afford because I can view that happened. So they went fire dark, which worked. I mean, I like the fact that it was dark type. Um, I think Incineroar looks good, but I do, I can't understand people not vibing with it 100%. So. I think it's Smash Brothers, though, is a complete liability because it's freaking recovery is dangerous. <laughs> I was like, I use them to be like, oh, maybe I'll make it a main or whatever. Oh, so you like a camera trainer have this Pokemon. Oh, you sent a quill. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Let's go. Absolutely, send a quill. Welcome to the anime squad. We're gonna be running like a team of 12 at this point. And there's Tail. Which, you know, should have been in the first town, but that's fine. I will be mad at that. We'll, we'll catch it. I'm honestly catching things for the next time. Yeah, the only problem is, not that we won't be using them, we're definitely going to use them. It's just, uh, Blazer King kind of got that spot, and I need him, so we're going to have to put him, like, on a bench, but still include him in that, so uh, we're working on it. We got a lot of game left to play. Yeah, <laughs> I did the Master Ball Code and Red Candy Code, but I'm only using them, um... I'm only using the uh, the rare candies when it's like absolutely necessary or like whatever. If I'm like, if I feel like they need to level up a bit and things are getting too tough, a couple levels. And I use use the master balls because it makes it faster. Like the only I didn't use it for the first episode because I was like, oh, I'll just you know catch in the old fashioned way. But um, I didn't want to I didn't want to start off doing that. But I said, I think I said it yesterday too. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know what, for the uh, other ones, I'll be happy. Yeah, I only do it with, like, absolutely necessary and stuff like that. Trap Inch. Okay, this is the Pokemon I need. Um, Trap Inch. Actually, Flygon in general. One of my favorite. Uh, it's a bad guy, so. One of my favorite Pokemon. It's just such a good, good Pokemon. Flygon, I love. Um, 
It still is my favorite dragon, but it shares a spot with a certain Dragapult. Because if there's one good thing Sword of Shield did, it was make Dragapult. I remember seeing that thing, and I, I was a big Duraludon fan, because it reminded me of Godzilla. Um, for some reason. Like, I, I don't know why. I was just like, oh, like, it, it gives me, like, Kaiju vibes, so cool. I'll use it. And I was a big fan of it. But, aside from that, I kind of, like, lost the spot in the team, so I kind of had it just in my rotation in my box. But then I, like, ran into Dragapult, and it was, like, love at first sight. I was like, I'm going to catch you. I'm going to go get a shiny of you and use it on my team, and I have four of them. I got... Well, actually, no, I think I have, like, eight. The first one I got, I actually grinded for it took me 1,800 no it's oh god 1,089 egg not 800 I, I don't have that much dedication um <laughs> you two are hilarious in chat by the way <laughs> it took me 1,800 I keep saying that 1,089 eggs to get a shiny uh dreepy so it definitely took some time Oh yeah, I forgot we gotta do SSN, so we'll do that next. I'm gonna go do something real quick. I'll see you guys in a few. Sounds good, Bucket. I appreciate you. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate you being here. Go do your thing. I'm not jogging back for that, so. guys 1 a.m i gotta go to bed hope you have a good stream see you next time pixie guts i appreciate you you get some well-deserved sleep thank you for hanging out as always i appreciate you staying up i know it is super late for you so i appreciate you hanging out being here especially from the raid get some well-deserved rest and i'll see you next time okay um i mean fluffy will fight through so we'll be okay i probably should have switched it there but that's all right all will be well. This sounds so sad. All right, uh, let's put him back here. Marsh time, damn it. <laughs> Keep calling them the baby names. Swag Swagger is that move that just frustrates me. It's so good, but it's so annoying. Okay, it's just it's confusing. Come on, come on, come on. Of course. Of course. That's fine. This is fine. Wow.
Okay. That's alright, we're just gonna make it. Because I believe. There we go. Aqua Heat is dope. I'll fight it. Plus, it sounds like I could do that. Same with Mankey, too. Leer. Two. You got me real good too. Sorry, bud. That, that, that's how I do you. Um. All right. I'll heal Combustion. Can't really do anything about laughing right now. Poison sucks, but it's only taking one HP, so bad. Bad news bears there. Hmm. There we go. Shift never misses. Time to punch forward. Perfect. That was intense. Like this past couple of like areas, I'm not gonna lie, kind of tough. I'm tough for you. Bro. Uh, let's see what Squatty got. I always like seeing what Pokemon people have because there are like subtle changes with them. Um, some are mostly the same, but in this um, hack, they definitely got like a lot of upgrades. It's been a journey to see Bill, huh? Get a burn again. Nope, that's all right. 
Ooh, got him. All right. I freaking love this wind theme, by the way, so, so much. So, so much, so good. So I freaking love that they made him a Kefari, because I think he was some he was like the basic generic Pokemon in the other one. Like I'm assuming they wanted it to be a Kefari and they probably referenced it. <laughs> but like they actually had the artwork to make it a Kefari. Um but he got stuck and did like a cell transporter. Which I don't get, like he could have just asked for help to get out the costume, but he is back to himself again, good old Bill. Can't stay fancy dude, would you go ahead of me? Sure. Why not? I could I I mean I don't stand fancy dudes either, but whatever. We'll go because it has cut and it's important. So check out my PC. Eevee, Flareon, Jotion, and Record. Now in orders of my favorite. Vaporeon, Gothion, Eevee, and then very last and least, Flareon. Not Bob Flareon at all. It's stats. Just, it's not for me. But Vaporeon, A+. Plus. It's a great, 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 great attack. Solid moveset. A lot of good things you can learn. Attempted to, like, have it on the team, but we have Swamp already, so... Unfortunately, that, that probably did not fly. But let's head over to Vermillion. That way we can do uh, SSN tonight. Potentially, Lieutenant Surge. I'll see how timing's looking. Yeah. Okay, the, the Yankees are getting destroyed by the Blue Jays. 3-0. Why? Like, but why, though? We'll buy like some super potions, so we'll have it for the rope. I also gotta sell that nugget. Yeah, this is good enough for the road. Um, I think everything else. Some antidotes. Some paralyses. Huh, I want some awakenings because I'm probably going to go to sleep too. <laughs> and I'm like, listen. Do not want at all. I got the save too, so let me save. Even though the internal save does nothing in this hack, I don't know why. But I do have a way to save, thank God. It was like a hot mess. And shout out to Rocket, they just came in and did this like to someone's house. Like, you know, T Rocket does some criminal stuff, but most of the Pokemon. They're like, yeah, we're just gonna go in this house and do this. I'm like, alright. Five? Um, 
down. Double kick easy. Look how fast on that was. Alright, drowsy. I got beef with drowsy. I, I don't like it that way. <laughs> um, but yeah, in all seriousness, drowsy is alright. It's weird. It creeps me out. Twenty-four height. These leaves he straight up dips out after the crown. He's like, I'm out of here. Not let me escape, seriously? Oh my god! Wow! Finally! I was like, are you serious? And this is the Pokemon Daycare, which, like, if you're shiny hunting in this, which, you know, I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about it just being in this location. I think there is another daycare on the islands, though, that you can use. So that kind of works out. But, still. Like, why, why have it there, Chikorita? Okay. You like a trustworthy Pokemon? I'll just give you. I'll just give you this Pokemon. Alright, sweet. Prefer a total doll, but alright, thanks. Oh god, I'm gonna see next time. I'm gonna heal you up, brother. <laughs> I gotta heal you up. Never gonna let you down. Run around the dessert. We just giving a chikorita. Sorry to pay attention. Yeah, Captain, we got a chikorita. Um, I'm playing a um, hack version of Fire Red. That is really cool. It's called Fire Red Omega. Um, if I have access to the best grass starter. Oh, thank God you missed the conversation earlier. <laughs> Ooh, we were, we were dragging it, unfortunately. <laughs> By we, it was mostly me, but. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, all love the Chikorita fans, though. I, I just don't vibe with it. Not, oh yeah, you were. My bad. I'm so sorry for that shit. I apologize. <laughs> I was there defending Chikorita. <laughs> Oh gosh, they deserve that much. I, I listen. I think Chikorita is not as bad as people say. Like it's not my least favorite grass starter. I think that goes to Chespin, but it definitely is like not in my top five. It's like oh okay, but I will say though, you know, design wise it looks cool. It, it does have a good design, and I liked it in the anime. So. Anime version was dope.
see. Yeah, we got gifted Chicken Reader. We also got gifted uh, Centipore earlier, so I'm assuming Totodile will be in Vermilion. I'm a man Warthog. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't switch. Honestly, I'm gonna be stopping the fire out. <clears throat> yeah, definitely stopping me. in public. <laughs> it always takes me out. I'm like, we, we, we are battling here, okay? Run me. It's Pikachu. No shade. This is Pikachu. We'll, we'll be okay. I hate losing. That is a move. Actually, yeah. I'd say I hate losing. I just don't like it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think it. Good, ever seen you around? You might have. Not many characters were like, you know, backpack. All I don't want to, so. Ladian. Okay, so Ladian is a Pokemon that I, design wise, A, plus, one of the best design looking Pokemon ever. God, I wish it was better. I, I, I wish great things for Ladian. It's just, unfortunately, it's, it's not as hot to you. But I, I still love it. I, I'm still rooting for it because it looks so cool. It gives you like Power Ranger vibes so much, like as a buff. It's like, I guess Dre was a fan of Swablu because there's a lot of Swablu here, and I'm not mad at it. Swablu's a great Pokemon, and I freaking love the Altaria line too. So, definitely not mad at that at all. Okay. Uh, Pidgey. It's a classic.
Alright, um, let's do Ember. Keep this going. Radicate's a only really reason, like, I guess I quote unquote like Radicate, because of the anime had me die. Because, uh, when I asked in his, like, Butterfree, I was like, dude, what are you doing? Why, why would you trade your Butterfree? Like, what, what was the reason? And we get one of my favorite items of the game. The freaking Via Seeker. It's so elite. This right here made me really love Fire Red and Lake Green a lot. The fact that you could do rematch battles and it made level grinding fun and just training fun and a lot of the post game fun when you needed it. I put a lot of re uh, replayability in these games because of it. And I just trained on the islands for the Elite Four for like a solid week when I was uh, younger. And it really just helped me out. The guy got super powerful. Thankfully, I found a lucky egg. Um, took me, I don't know how many chances. So, yeah, it happens, but sorry about that. Um, what, what do I get this time? Good rod. Oh, that is true. You can catch a lot of your Pokemon. I actually gotta like, I should fish and see what Pokemon you can catch. Be careful about pollution here. We hear Grimer multiplies and toxins. Ew. Hello. 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 Oh snap, not to. The homie. Who's dope? Okay, I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, you have a tail though? You want to trade for a shot catch? It's actually not a bad trade. I mean, you could like try to just get one and trade. Then we gotta hear this guy talk about Rapid Dash. <laughs> rapid Dash is this. Rapid Dash is that. I like Rapid Dash. Bro. Bro. Yeah, absolutely. Vermillion has like one of my favorite themes. The remix in Hard Gold So Silver was absolutely perfect. Um, just when I think that theme couldn't get any better, they had to remix like a piano orchestra. And I'm like, all right. Cool. Oh. I'm assuming that lady has a Pokemon for me, so. Once we get cut, we'll go back and do that. to the battles outside for no reason. I just like doing them. Well, why not? Oh, my computer. Pack. Been there, done that. Freaking Krabby is so good as a Pokemon. I freaking love Krabby so much. Krabby and King Larry is just great. And you know what? Krabby is one of those Pokemon the anime definitely made me like it more. Um, there was just some Pokemon like, not that I wouldn't enjoy it in terms of being a fan of Krabby and King Larry, because I always thought they were dope. It's just like, I guess the anime just gave them more of an appeal for me personally. I 
I was just careless. I don't know about that, but I, I don't know. I feel like you gotta, you just gotta take the L. It's okay. It's okay. I almost took an L getting this thing. Shut up. She, she almost had the better too. Um, pack handle. Same. Put that in rotation. Keep moving. Shoulder. My man, shoulder. Ain't that Yeah, I always fight the outside people first. I, I don't know why, I just prefer to do it. Sometimes I'll go and fight like the main cabins. Um, it just really depends on like, why can't I find doors? Probably because my uh, laptop was blocking my view. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Leah, what up? How was your stream? Good you still here? Yes, I am. Um, Folks, shout out to the awesome Leah the Princess. She's a great streamer. She just started streaming recently. Did her second stream tonight. Played some uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, so definitely, you know, if you're looking for an awesome streamer to follow, check out her great channel. She's doing some really good work. It was a really fun stream. I got to lurk for a bit before starting today. Uh, so definitely, uh, you know, check out her good content. We go way back. Way, way back since our college days, so. <laughs> but I'm good. I'm glad you had a good stream. Yeah, no problem. Oh yeah, it takes the best to know the best. Really, really happy you're streaming and uh, good luck with everything. Let me know if you have any questions, but I mean, you were a pro at the last two streams, so. <laughs> Welcome back, Bucket. I appreciate you returning. We're doing the um, SSN tonight. So, almost done with the main part. It's pretty cool. I'm missing doors with my focus. <laughs> Dumbest thing looking at it, like I'm clearly missing this door. Go police agent. I'm gonna trail team rocket up, no good. Well, bud, I mean we could just tag along and take it down, but it's like, <laughs> it's like we we you know, team up like the men in black and we set. You insolent pup, how dare you barge in? All right, so this guy is very interesting, but I like him a lot. He's the only character in Pokemon that would legit be upset if someone randomly came in his room without knocking. Breaking the fourth wall or being completely honest. Either way, I like that dude. Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon like, NPCs because I, I would be the same way, you know? I, I wouldn't be that upset. I, I, I wouldn't be. They're like, how you doing? Let's battle. <laughs> Spitting some vax. Good, I'm glad he lived through that. <laughs> I, I was I was gonna be sad. If he didn't, I was gonna be real sad. Bulk up. Nah, we're good. Appreciate the love and that though. For that. We're good. Um, need arena. No, technically Curry could do damage. Also, we need to level her up. She's not been in spotlight for a while. Perfect. Gentleman Arthur. He has a cool name. 
<laughs> he was really pissed. Damn, Arthur. I, I mean, I feel you. He, he did not want to be bothered. I mean, I, I feel him. You know, he probably had a long day at work. You know, he wanted to just vibe out. Didn't want to be bothered by, like, you know, some 10-year-old randomly running in his room being like, Hey, you want a Pokemon battle? I, I respect that, Arthur. 100%. Character is a mood. That would be embarrassing as hell, but fine. Um, pack. Hidden Power is a cool move. I just, I don't know. I wish it had a sequel or a better move, but I do like it. Pokemon would you find a hyper potion in the trash? Which like I don't know if sanitary to give your Pokemon, but you know, especially with the current events going on. <laughs> but you know, since the game came out in 2004, they they ain't have to worry about that. But for future red and future blue, don't don't be digging in garbage. Actually, they shouldn't even be digging in garbage. It out. I actually need to use it. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do that. Get that going. Handle yeah, some business. Don't you love eating a bunch of Sour Patch Kids before you go to sleep? I love eating a bunch of Sour Patch Kids. I, would, I don't know if I do it before I go to sleep because I feel like that will keep me so energized. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, Sour Patch Kids are dope, but they're really good. It's just uh, that will keep me energized as hell to know how I am. Um, if I did eat them before I went to sleep, I think it's another bad one that I gotta do. Um, what I would probably do is either drink like water or like something light. And then, you know, go to the bathroom, of course. Oh, uh, so wake up and pee. Let's go. Level 29 height. They grow so fast on me. Yeah, that line is funny. I <laughs> look at the kids like you. I'm like, I need an adult. <laughs>
Wow. I mean, you know, it makes sense with all the smoke screens. Am I not surviving? Super effective, but he did that. We fought through it though. Team, team is good, Grindy. You, you love to see it. My poor fish. Another A plus design, folks. Definitely, uh, it's evil I don't dislike. I just think overall core fish as a Pokemon looks so good. Like, it really looks A+. Cool. Oh, <laughs> whoops. That'll happen a lot pressing the L button. <laughs> it, I, I like that in uh, Fire Ridley Green, but it's so annoying at the same time if you accidentally do it. Sales have Pokemon too. You should. You gotta use it like that. You can't just be out here selling seeds with no Pokemon. Not good. Um, speed are not good. Combustion is not in good shape, so I might actually bench it. Because you get a little too brown. You just a little bit too brown. Um, so yeah. There is that. We're so cute. Um, straight up, this, this works. Also, I'm glad I got the red candy stuff because this team is so stacked that not everybody would love it. So it's like, can't really do anything about that. Until we use cheats. And my phone almost fell asleep at the so if you're gonna know about it. I also need to put it on a charger, so give me like one quick second. Too much to do. The only thing I'm trying to do is get a COVID vaccine, like straight up. So I'm hoping more stuff opens up this week. Um, so potentially between next week. I can, damn it. Okay, well that's the counter twice today. Uh, so two times today. I'm trying to make like a counter because I think I started it yesterday. So I think I'm at four times. I've accidentally hit that because I want to see at the end how many times I can do it. And I swear it's not on purpose. It literally is accidental. Like, I'll just look and be like, I pressed L or R back. <laughs> and the controller I'm using, too, is really tiny, so... Well, not really tiny. It's standard size, but it's tinier than, you know, if I was using my PS4 controller. I think it needs it personally, because I think Amphi knows it. So yeah. Yeah. Hey! Let's go! All right. Heck yeah. My boy grows, he grows. He grew! To an electric buzz. Let's go. Ice punch, huh? Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Karate Chop does 50 and it's a fighting attack. I can get rid of it. I can teach you Brick Brick later. So. I freaking love, but it's Evo. Yeah, I sort really just I, I don't know how I feel about it. I would say mixed emotions, but not really that mixed. They're just like, eh. <laughs> let's go hang out with the chef. See what's going on in the kitchen. Yeah, say. So I bury in the trash. I was like, Ew. Again, what's up with everyone digging in the trash? You know, like I don't. <laughs> I ain't made a chef. Is... Ooh, probably steak. Okay. Bro, uh, Chesto Berry is great. Chesto Berry great. What about the Snow Axe is a glut? No, the Pokemon eat the sleep the way Snow Axe does. Snow Axe is a mood. I forgot how good the remix is. Like, I really just forgot how, like, Game Freak put the whole foot in his track and was like, no, we got this. And, and they did it. Snorlax. I'm not gonna show you Snorlax, but it's like, you see it. Like, you bump and you have two opportunities to get it. So it's just weird, like, it'd be cool if it was like a rare Pokemon or like something that you don't see for a while. Which, I mean, debatably, you don't see Snorlax for a minute. So I get that. I hit a lot of because I like Ice Punch. Ice Punch is win. Look at that. It didn't fully do the job, that's okay. That's okay, though. Like, I don't know. I was the time I debated using the core fish on my team, but I got kind of bored with it. I felt bad though, because it, it was doing decent work. Darker later, and like I was just like, oh, it's fine. There we go. Over it. It's like just not in my face where I'm like blinking, like, eh. <laughs> Alright, that's something about 
hate you in my life. Which I find hilarious that, like, there's only one of, which brings a lot of loopholes. One, how the hell did Blue get in the gym? Unless he could have surfed in and got him later, which is a possibility. Because there's nothing that says you gotta get the badges in order. But then where did he get surfed if I was the only one who could so, A lot of questions I have for Pokemon. That made the game nice. <laughs> Although fan theories are cool, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to fight through the lava. Because I believe it. Yeah! Let's go! He was only a flash. He wasn't in love. He just had a little crush. And it ended. Good job, man. On to the next one, Electro Buzz. On to the next one. Treat yourself right. <laughs> okay, let me craft this. God, I don't have too much fun. Um, Alright, probably gonna battle. <sighs> What'd you find more worthy? A strong Pokemon or a rare Pokemon? Technically both. Um, you know, Karen from the Elite Four and Gold and Silver has my favorite po Pokemon history. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, that's only perception of foolish trainers. Uh, true trainers win with the Pokemon they like love and raise. I butchered the quote, but it's something similar to that. And like, that's a quote that I think about a lot. Uh, which is why I like, I'm a big fan of Ampharos, because there were people telling me, well, oh, he's not that good in online competitive battle. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> he is a bot on his channel. He's the mascot of this channel, and he is this channel. Uh, so, you know, just one of those good quotes I live by. Never talk about Pokemon. Okay. Thank you, Frank. Salute you too. First one I prefer strong and rare Pokemon. See, he, he, I mean, like, he posed the question, but, you know, spit facts. Just bobbing, he gets it. I am gonna hit a combustor. Can't do anything, Safari Zone was awesome. Most people go there again. Good. We're going to Safari Zone Future City, there's many kinds of Pokemon. If we haven't, we'll probably be there, like, next episode. Probably. Actually, 100% down for the next episode. Right, I'm gonna watch it probably. <laughs> I mean, Soko... Well, not Soko. Soko takes a long time, but not, like, forever. Because the Celadon is that, and then we'll be in future. We could do that first, and then fight Kozu. Um, and we'll probably take... Oh, there's Lapis. I would say yeah. I would say yeah. We would at least get that. I don't know about the in it. But we would be there. <laughs> like I don't know if we would have to like, go in surprise. So Thunder Punch works. Oh. Crap, I forgot who's saying that because I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. I, I just freaked out a little bit. When he sells out Jinx, I'm going to put him combustion. Straight up. Um, I ran out of power points there. I ran out of power points there. Alright, send him. That's why I healed him up. That's why I did it. It's 
straight up. Oh, whoa. Good news, though. I gotta wake up. <laughs> it's called thinking ahead. With this uh, powder snow. Yo, Jeezy over here. Like, throwing powder snow at peeps. Uh, oh, my God. Wow, all right. Okay. I swear to God, if you get ice punch on me in my life, I'm going to lose it. Sad is, I don't know fire punch. Okay. The only punch I can't use. Swift is probably the best move here, because it does save me. Got him. I gotta wake it. So, good luck. I'm gonna fight through Cause I'm fast. There's Jinx. There's Jinx, man. Um, okay. Yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna take some setup. Oh, perfect. Fine. That is totally fine. Classic will survive. Hey, that's right. Yeah, there you go. Good. Now we're even. Now there's some chances where you can't move. We're also slow. Um, Thunder Punch, friend. This game. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Who knows the past me for being like, get awakenings because you're gonna need it. For the life of me, I did. Got the punch, but it's too late. I need four ways to this. Peace out. Y'all take it. There was a cut master, uh, but he's a sick, sick old man. Cut himself really useful. Yeah, pretty handy. Should go see him too. Okay, cool. So he probably got cut up. Got it. Makes sense. It's a funny way to get HM. A seasick captain. He's like, I need a back rub. He couldn't ask any of his like teammates to do that. This is weird. Also, he could have took like an Advil or Pepto Bismol, something. Hey, watch this. Yuck, I shouldn't have looked. <laughs> That's like one of the few times Red actually has dialogue in this game. And it's absolutely hilarious. I do that all the time just because, like, I find it funny as hell. <laughs> but we beat the SSN, which is real. So we're gonna watch the boat leave as we say goodbye. Bye, boat. But I think we'll fight Surge as the last thing we do tonight. We could definitely get bad as number three because I'm feeling it. So first things first, we need a Pokemon Lord Five. That, that's the absolute first thing. Because that's important. All right, who's gonna sit this one out? <sighs> need you, need you, technically need you. So there we go. <laughs> that was easy. Um, I don't know if they'll listen to me at 30. 
So I don't want to get them up to 30, but I will get some up to like 25. I think we should be fine if they did it. I know I do want to get Amphi close to evolving, so I guess Amphi will... You know, it's cool. We'll get, we'll get... We'll get some to 25, some to 30. Just in case they don't want to see that. I have to deal with that. Which I know what time it is. It's my favorite time of the day, everybody. It is It is my favorite time of the day. Where, uh, you know, Flaffy evolves. And it grows into the, the best electric Pokemon of all time, everyone. Y'all see me do this many times. I'm very hyped. I'm very excited. When the amazing, the great... There it is. Ampharos. Blesses the screen. You love to see it. Hey, what up, Miles? Thank you for hanging in, bud. How are you? How's it going? Fire Punch? My son. Let's go. Hey, what up, Asgator? All the homies are hanging out. Y'all came in at the right time. Um, look who it is on screen. How you doing? Um, double shout outs. Shout out to my homie Miles. Uh, definitely check out his channel. Great Facebook gaming streamer. Sorry, my control fell. There we go. Um, great Facebook gaming streamer. Definitely check out his awesome content. He streams on Saturdays, but he did a nice surprise stream yesterday. It was really good. Playing Pokemon Xenoverse. Um, and shout out to the amazing Ash Gator. Uh, she does a lot, a lot of great streams on Twitch, including some Hollow Knight, some Persona. So definitely check out her stuff. Um, she's doing big things. So, you know, you love to see it for both of them. So I hope you both are doing well and happy Thursday. Glad, uh, you know. Editing if the game cast is going well as always. Uh, for folks that don't know, I gotta update the command. Um, and I'll probably do that tonight. Because I was supposed to do that before stream. But I am a part of a gaming podcast called Gamecast. Um, myself, my buddy Miles, who's here, and our good friend Howard, we talk about video game news, updates, and just the local things that are happening in the gaming world every single week on Fridays. Um, we are on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Uh, it is just game cast, so it's game. Replace the E with a three, cast, and you got us. You'll see three awesome um, black avatars um, with gaming equipment on, and that is us in Chibi Art, which is really dope. Uh, so shout out to the talented artist. Uh, I think I don't know if Howard made it. If, if he did, shout out to Howard for being talented. I think he made that. Um, so shout out to Howard for being a great podcaster, but also a great artist. Um, who made that for us? Um, but yeah, definitely check us out. We got a really, really fun episode coming up um, this Friday. That will be live. So yeah, all's good. Yeah, all's well. We had a really awesome raid today. Um, Oshi raided the channel. Yeah, I made that one. I, I figured. It's been a hot minute. It's been some time since like we did that. It's been almost a year. Um, we actually need to talk about like it's getting close to a year <laughs> for that. So. Which is just wild. It's getting close to a year for like me streaming. It's getting close to a year for Gamecast starting. So a lot of anniversaries. Oh, for folks who missed it, um, shout out to Oshi for the raid, but shout out to the people who followed. We officially passed 350 followers, um, which was honestly a goal of mine that I expected for the summer and it's spring. So that is really good news. Um, I say it all the time, but thanks to every single person. Um, I'm not, I, I celebrate milestones about numbers, but it's really about like chatting with you all and being a part of the community is the biggest thing. Um, you know, so I really just want to thank everybody. Um, the road to 400 officially starts tonight. So we're at 351, um, which we'll probably upload. Calm mind, hell yeah, we need that. Um, we're at 351, which is great. Uh, and the road to 400 is going to be strong. So, you know, I had a goal to get to 500 by the end of this year. It seems like crossing my fingers, um, we'll, we'll get there before the end, which is good. But we, we will get to the road to the big 4-0. And to let people know, not to entice anybody, but once we get to 500, um, I will have another five to six hour stream. Uh, I did that when I got the 100 followers. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks, y'all. Uh, we'll, we'll probably do, like, another five to six hour stream. Um, which, like, I say that's, like, a milestone, but honestly, like, I've been, the way I've been doing streams has been damn near close to me. So, I, I, I think I will only save, like, a 10 hour stream. Not that 500 isn't a big milestone, but I think if I get to 1K, I could probably do an 8 to 10 hour stream. Now, I say 8 to 10 because I, I don't know if I fully want to do a 10. I might say that for something really, really special. 
Um, not that, again, not that a thousand isn't special, but, you know, I, I, I'm gonna say, like, we'll do the five to six, because they've been working. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, your boy does need sleep. I, w I woke up. By end of May, I, I hope so. I try to have, like, realist goals. Not that I don't think getting that is realistic, but I try to go, I try to always shoot, I delay it, going like, oh, okay, well, I can just, you know, Say I'll get to 500 by the end of the year. Because if I pass it, cool. If I get close to it, which we are, I still feel good. Um, I didn't want to do things like a lot of people, and not that there's anything wrong with that. So if you're streaming, don't take this personally. It's not personal. But a lot of people, when they stream and they're starting out, they go, I want to get like 1K followers in a year. And like, that could happen. But I try to start off with baby steps because I know like, you know, it's... That's something that's out of your control. I saw a tweet the other day that was really profound. That was saying like, you know, that's something outside of your control. What you can control is your content, like getting better, being more comfortable, like doing you and like building your audience. So that's something that I tried to do. I was like, I want my views to be over three for at least a month. And we freaking passed that. It's been damn near over five. Um, which as much as I love the follows, the view, I tell people the best way to support me is to be, ah, squirrel. All right, cool. Where the hell's Charmander, though? Like, no, I'm, I'm not mad at the Squirtle. It's cute. It's a good reference to Yellow. But where is Charmander? I've not... I ran into Bulbasaur. Ew. <laughs> I've not run into Charm... I don't think... Did I run into Bulbasaur? Actually, I did. I, I did. Oh, Ash, sorry. I didn't see a comment. Well, I do a 24-hour stream. No. <laughs> and here's my reason why I I would have to say you gotta build up for that so it would be like a couple 5 hour streams a couple 6 hour streams a couple 10 hour streams a couple of 12 hour streams a 15 hour stream right welcome on Ludwig yo shout out to Ludwig um, I knew I remember him he was in the Smash community I think he was like a commentator for a bit too um, he actually surpassed Ninja for the most, I think, YouTube subs. It was trending on Twitter for a while. Shout out to him. Um, you know what? I, I respect it. That, that's good, good work. You, you know what? I'm not going to crap on anyone doing the work. He's, he's been doing the work, so. Good for him, man. Good for him. Uh, yeah, but I probably wouldn't do a 24-hour stream. The longest stream I would probably do in good faith with me starting out is I would probably say maybe like a 7 to 8 hour because I think that's good for the day. I would start early in the morning, not like super early, but like, you know, maybe 11, 10, 11 o'clock. You know, that way I could finish, eat dinner, hang out. We beat the gym puzzle early. I'll fight everybody. That's just because, like, I'm gonna fight everybody. Move. <laughs> yeah, but we got the 350, which is dope, so definitely celebrating that. And then we'll do the road to 400 um, coming up. And then, honestly, after that, the biggest things I'm gonna do is just, uh, yeah, once we get to 500, we'll probably do a celebration stream. And, like, that stream would be fun because I actually made the schedule for it. Um, thinking hell of an advance of games I would play. So, we would do Smash. By the way, Miles, and also, Ash, if you play Smash. I know you, I think you told me you might play. I may do a bonus stream tomorrow. I, I gotta see how I feel because, you know, Wednesdays are usually my days off. But, if I'm into it, if I'm motivated, and I'm not too tired from work, because I, I do have a lot of things to do for it. And even if it's not like a long stream, I might play Smash tomorrow. Would you guys be down? And it would be during like normal stream time. But if I can use my phone's internet, I think it, that can carry for me a couple hours to play Smash Bros. But if y'all would be down, y'all can let me know here in the Discord. And we can see her friends are down too. I asked Megan, she doesn't play. Oh, not that she doesn't play, she doesn't own Smash. Which I told her she needs to do it. <laughs> it's like, Meg, you gotta get Smash, Megs. I was hanging in her stream yesterday because I mod over there. I have to work out um, and edit tomorrow. No, it's totally fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nothing like maybe Thursday. Hmm. You know what? If Thursday works, I could do that for Thursday then. Because I, I do need not a break from Pokemon, but like this will go up on YouTube tomorrow, which is Wednesday. If I take off or if I do a retro stream Wednesday, we could do Smash Thursday. That works. 
That works. I'll, you know what? I'll punch with Ender for Thursday because I want to do Smash anyway. I know a day to do it. So Thursday works. We, we can make that happen. Also, his music's so freaking good. They use the Elite Four music. How dare you? How dare you make me do this? Smash Thursday? That is an interesting hashtag. I don't want to try that. <laughs> and this is this internet. Hell, even in our internet age, it would look differently. <laughs> oh, gosh. Also, Miles and Ash, I gotta, like... I mean... <laughs> I mean... You, you right, though. <laughs> oh, my God. By the way, Miles, I realized yesterday... Um, I went to get food, so like I forgot I was in your stream, but I missed the questions you asked, and I felt bad. I watched your VOD of the universe today while I was working, because I was on email, so I was just like, oh, I got Facebook open too, so I'll do that. And you like asked me like twice when does Flaffy evolve? <laughs> felt so bad because I'm like, oh, I didn't get back to you. So it's late as hell, but to let you know, it evolves at 15, but it already is a Flaffy, and then it evolves at 30 uh, to become Ampharos. Yeah, I, I never got back to you. And I do that sometimes in streams. Like, if I'm lurking in someone's stream, they go, Oh, hey, how's your day going? I'm like, good. And they don't ask me something. And I go back. Guess I found his jacket. I know, but it's still, I felt bad. I, I wanted on camera to answer you. You <laughs> also texted me. <laughs> I felt so bad. I was like, oh, shit. So, next time, I'll I'll turn the volume up when I go to food. Um, I don't know how to put out. And for those fire points, that's not going to be helpful. Current no psychic in calm mind, so let's see if we can sweep. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Tonight, tonight was actually a good stream night. Um, and it was important, too, because I was tired. So I wasn't going to cancel stream. I was like, I'm going to go through it, but I don't know if we'll do three hours and we're over three, which is shocking. And my headache went away. Um, I just need to get more sleep. I just realized that I, like, don't go to bed till 1, and I get up at, like, 7 because my body's like, hey, you're up. And I'm like... No. Like, I'm working from home. I don't have to technically be up to like 8.30. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's see if I can get one more calm off right here. Let's go, Curlia. Let's freaking go. Let's get you to be a Bonner Bar soon. Yep. No. No, 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 no. Um, definitely not going to switch out. Definitely going to heal. Yep. Four. Um, we like thought ahead with all this stuff too. Good. Okay, cool. Psychic should take it out. Why the hell are you still confused if I use a full heal? <laughs> it should fully heal you. <laughs> Not one status effect. It should heal both of them. Both of my, you kidding me? Are you are you kidding me, Wendy? Are you kidding me? Um, oh god, I don't have to pull him. You know what? That's fine. Because I believe. Oh lord. Survive it, survive it. Thank you. This is why Carmine is psychic. I like Bread and Butter, Sonic and Tails, Devon, and Bubba Ray Dudley. The Hardy Boys, Edge and Christian. All the tag teams. It is the best. Young Bucks, Lucha Bros. New day. This is, this is good. This is good. Motor City Machine Guns. I put on my favorite like tag teams. <laughs> a lot of people want to look at this and like, what the hell is he talking about? Uh, for all my wrestling fans, Wink to Nasty. Speaking of which, um, the Raw after Mania was not good. I was shocked. I thought it'd be a bit better, um, but I watched it like. After our stream, Doc Brook, hey, what's going on, friend? How are you? How's it going? How you doing? What's going on? How you been? Yeah, we're playing Pokemon Fire Red Omega. Also, folks, um, shout out a lot of my good friends are here on uh, tonight, too. Shout out to Doc Brook, she is an awesome, awesome charity streamer. She's played some Fall Guys, but she's also been super brave playing Resident Evil 2. 
Um, I don't do spooky games. I know she's not a fan of spooky games either. So when I watch spooky game streams, I am lurking in spirit, um, but also trying to fight my fears at the same time. <laughs> but she's been rocking it um, as well. So definitely check out her awesome channel um, and hang out in her awesome community. Class is one of my favorite communities to be a part of, so it's always a blast. Yeah, we're playing Pokemon Fire Red Omega, which if anyone has never played, it is a hack of Pokemon Fire Red, which has at the time 300, all 386 Pokemon, which is rare to think that there were that much ever, and now it's like twice as much in multiple generations. But the guy that made it Drown 60, um, he's had it out for years, and there's a lot of cool references. One, everyone has the Elite Four music for the gym battles. Two. There's Pokemon based on the anime, so Lieutenant Surge had a Raichu in the game, uh, but I think the specific Raichu's moveset is based off the anime and game too. Um, Brock had a Vulpix, Misty had, you know, her Star Me and her Star You, but also had a Togepi that became a Toga Tick, uh, which is really cool. Oh dear, okay. I'm gonna just do this. I hope he isn't fast enough. Surf! Surf. Why? <laughs> Surf of all moves. What is that about? Oh, that's a shocker. I see what you did there, Surge. I see what you did there. Thunder Bass creates up your Pokemon speed. It also lets you, uh... Curse my girl? Yeah, one of my... My second favorite psychic type after, uh, Espeon. Is the route line. It's, it's solid. It's just really well done. Hey Jack, I had to turn down the stream audio so I could hear correctly. Um, oh yeah, 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 because you're doing um, Gamecast. I thought it was me. I was like, oh god, am I too loud? Um, but I'll be lurking to support you. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm on for Gamecast this week. Um, but yeah, let me know if you need help with that or anything too. But definitely, definitely hype to have Gamecast up. Our gaming podcast, which uh, I'll put the link out again for peeps, so they could definitely watch and hang out and enjoy it. But my buddy Miles and I, are with our girlfriend Howard, are a trio that do gamecast together. Our gaming podcast weekly on Fridays it goes up on Facebook, but it also goes up on Spotify, Google Play, and the Apple Podcast. Um, so definitely check it out if you like gaming. We talk about a lot of cool things too, and we talked about a lot of good stuff. Um, Every time, but the past couple weeks have been like some of my favorites. <laughs> this is because it had me laughing. Is, does this guy give me something? Oh, right, how you. Oh. I need all the aid. I need a package for you, right? He said, look around Route 2. Okay. I was like, why? Oh, you gotta get Flash. I mean, I guess we can do that. I'll probably just get the bike voucher, though, so I can have it. First things first, we need to do one more. Ooh, that's a lot of rare candies. <laughs> I didn't want to get that much. But I was like, why the heck not? Let's go. Punch did really, really well with this move set. Oh, I mean, confusion gotta go. What does magical do? 60? Yeah, we have psychic, and confusion only does 50. And while it's great, how accurate is magical? Leaf? Oh, it never misses. Easy decision I ever had to make. <laughs> yeah, but ice punch is one, especially against dragons. 100% need it. Alright, let's get the bike voucher. I can do that tonight. And maybe we'll get Flash, and maybe that'll be it for tonight. I think I can do that. Because I, got, I gotta get dinner eventually. Only reason I delayed it, because I had a late lunch. You're doing great, man? Mike, I appreciate you, dude. Thank you so much. You're doing great, too. It's good to see you. Seriously. Like, I was actually thinking about you the other day. I was like... 
I miss like I gotta go back in your Discord. I'm, I'm in your Discord, but I gotta hang out more. I'm just in so many Discords, so like I lurk and say hey. I usually say good morning in a lot of Discords. Like all of my favorite like people are <laughs> going, and I'm like happy whatever day. Um, I say happy Monday to peeps, and they're like, a, a couple of people say it back, but they're like, what the hell's happy about Monday? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> That's a good point though. Monday is a dreaded day for peeps, so I, I definitely get it. I, I I'm not mad. I 100% feel like. I've had some Mondays where I've been like, mm -mm, mm -mm. more like an okay Monday. So I, I've been there. But you're doing great too. I have to hit my pillow, but I hope you have a great night. Ash, I appreciate you. You have a good night too. Thank you so much for being here, for being an awesome mod, for being just awesome in general. Get some rest. I know it's been really busy with the move, so I appreciate it. I will be back for your return on Saturday. I know I might be either really early or a little late because I, I'll be lurking. I have a work event on Saturday that I'm doing from two to four, which by the way, I know I mentioned it for peeps. Saturday stream is 100% happening. It's just gonna be later. Um, it may take place at like four or five o'clock. I should be able to finalize it. I did finalize it a bit, but if anything changes, you know, I'll keep peeps in the loop. But Saturday stream is definitely happening. We'll probably play more Pokemon, of course. Um, but Thursday, we're gonna do Smash Brothers. So that should be fun. Also, let me register the bike. For some reason, I like the bike animations in this. It looks the most realistic. Which I know doesn't make sense in a video game, especially an RPG, but... It looks so realistic to me. Also, I do need to go to that route real quick. There's a trap pinch I need. I don't know if I can find it tonight, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try just for a little bit. It's not a trap pinch, it's a drowsy. I'll probably have to catch it all stream. We'll see. We shall see. And look at that! It was the second Pokemon I needed. Welcome to the team, my friend. You are going to become a mighty strong Flygon. And we are going to take over this entire region with our Iron Fist. <laughs> because, yes sir, absolutely on the team. I'm running like a rotation of like 20 Pokemon. It's a little ridiculous, but I do believe in it. Um, we're just gonna need a lot of, you know, support and, and some motivation. Oh, Brooke, if you're in chat, how have your class been? Like, I've been meaning to ask you about that because I know you've been working like um, on your different courses. So how have they been going? Oh, okay, Doug Trio. Usually it's like a rarer encounter. Um, it's also super freaking powered. I remember running into him and I struggled a bit when I played the regular version of this because it's, it's like level 30 and at the time my Pokemon were like, you know, late 20s. So it wasn't that much of a power difference, but you know, if you use Charmeleon versus War Total, it's a bit of a strike. So that that's been interesting in its own right. We'll get Diglett, why not? Diglett's the homie. It was absolutely one of my favorite uh, Pokemon from the anime all the time too. gotta love that good old gem one encounter and also i think they have arena trap so i do have to catch a fight them. let's test that to the damn it that's all right ice punch for the win for the absolute win good How you know I'm tired. <laughs> Fighting this rock for like a solid 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> absolutely hilarious. Um, Alright, cool. 
And the good thing is we have cut. We remembered it only last time. Last time was the worst not having it because I was stuck and couldn't do anything. Alright, let's see what he has to say. Yeah, we definitely caught over 10. 13? <laughs> I say that confidently. We caught over 10 and we didn't. I also forgot... Does the national deck register? It does, but I think they go off regular. Yeah, they go off regular decks. Got it. I guess it's one of those things in the game you couldn't change, which, I mean, makes sense. Still not a big deal anyway. We're three over. It just reminds me to catch, like, random Pokemon when I see them. That are technically more Gen 1 decks based. So at least we got Flash, which would be useful. Um, what we'll probably do is just swap out whoever has Cut for Flash. And just do HM swaps. Dunsparce! Dunsparce is a really underrated Pokemon. Um, it's not super good, but it, has a lo it had a lot of potential. It really did. Team no nicknames. Which, like, I actually thought about if I actually did nickname my Pokemon would be. I had a couple ones that, like, that made me, uh, you know, second guess for a minute. I was like, hmm, maybe I will be team nicknames for this one. Maybe. Get through. I don't watch again. That's fine. I was like, if it's Diglett, it, I'm not the problem. Cause I ran into Diglett like 70 times. And I'm like, bam, we, we gotta move. I mean, all right, one more is fine. I'm gonna let it slide because I like Diglett, and you know what? It's a cool Pokemon. So you know what? Diglett appreciation night. I don't mind running into it a couple times. That was an accident, and it's probably gonna use Magnitude. <sighs> don't want hit kill, don't want hit kill, don't want hit kill. Good, good. Sorry, Electro Buzz, that was on me. Pressing A too fast. I was going to guess something else. That melody will never get old. Seriously, like the OTS in Fire Emblem Green is really underrated in Pokemon. Um, you know, obviously Gold and Silver and Hargold and Silver are my favorites. I think black and white, Miles will love that, is my second favorite OTS. But I think the Gen 3 with Ruby Sapphire, Emerald, and then Fire and Leaf Green is literally behind those games. Debatably, 4 is really good with the pianos. 4 has a lot of great themes, but when I look back at 3, there's a lot of songs I just forgot how good they are. Like, the SSN song is really solid. This theme is really good. Like, every uh, city theme is great. The Elite Four uh, remix carries over from Ruby Sapphire and Emerald, so I'm always a big fan of it. So I would probably say it's my third favorite after uh, 
you know, to the remix, the remix and five. I know I was struggling to find the like entrance or exit, but <laughs> we made it back to familiar. All right, so let me heal up, and then, folks. As much as I absolutely love playing this game and hanging out with y'all, I'm past my dinner time, so I gotta end stream here. But I want to thank every single person for hanging out, following, lurking. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank y'all so much. We got the 350 followers. Um, which is amazing. I say this all the time, but the anime squad, you all like mean a lot and are all valued in this community. I cannot do this without everybody lurking, watching, hanging out. And I tell people, whether you watch my stream for like two seconds or the full stream, or you gotta go or you're watching it while eating dinner, doing homework, working on stuff, it warms my heart that enough of those people enjoyed my content, had a good time, felt in a safe place in the safe community. And that's the vibes we always wanna have here. So. Um, could not have done this without so many people and we're gonna keep it going. We're on the road to 400 now uh, But again, it's more about the community and my biggest goal is not always numbers It's about seeing my community grow and drive and working with so many talented people that I'm honored to know and honored to see do well So again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. I hope you all enjoy Pokemon tonight Tomorrow is usually my day off. We might do a bonus stream I got to see how I'm feeling if I'm not too run down. Um, I try to like take that day off, but I might be itching to play like a retro. Thursday is going to be Smash Brothers to take a little break from Pokemon. Not that I'm not enjoying it, but it gives breath for the content. So people who love Pokemon can be high for it. But also, um, I haven't played Smash in a hot minute on stream. So we're going to be doing that with friends. Um, so any, any of my homies, which I'll be tagging tonight, if y'all want to play Smash on Thursday. If y'all are free, let me know. Um, I know a couple people are down, so we'll do that for a bit. We'll have an open lobby. Uh, we'll get that going too, which will be dope. And then Friday, uh, we'll be back with Pokemon on Friday and Saturday for kind of like a double power hour. And then Sunday, y'all know it's always Sunday morning. Spooky. We're bringing that back. We're getting motivated for a win. Um, I keep getting very, very close. The game Charlie Browns me every single day, but I swear one day I'm gonna get the right items, make the right moves, and we'll make it. But until then, the grind continues. Uh, but y'all know how we like to do it in the Anime Squad. I like to send my awesome community to amazing streamers in a raid. So we got enough people for a raid here. Let me see who's live. Um, there's a lot of good people live tonight. I, I wish we can always like, I don't know. I, my heart is like, I always want to pick some many great people. Um, hanging out and streaming. Hey, Dayman, thanks for coming in. I'm glad you enjoyed. Um, let's see. He might be. Um, what's left is doing Final Fantasy. There's so many good people on right now. Um, you know what? Let's do, uh, let's see. Uh, what's uh, what's going to read the stuff? She is doing some Final Fantasy. God, I wish I remember my Roman numerals. <laughs> It's the Final Fantasy Online, uh, whatever one that is. I feel so bad. The academic of me is just tired. Right, forgive me, y'all. Um, but she's playing Final Fantasy Online. Um, so go hang out with her community. I'm going to queue up the raid. We'll hang out with Steph. Um, but like I said, I might see you all tomorrow. If you don't get a stream message from me saying I'm live, that means I took the night off. And we'll be back for Smash Brothers on Thursday. So keep notifications on. Hang out in Discord. I'll put on my socials if I'm going live or not. And I will see you all, if not tomorrow, then Thursday. Peace.